And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh Shit Podcast After Hours Edition. We're joined with a bunch of lovely ladies. We've got a great show planned for y'all. Let's get into it. Let's go. Listen, if you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out. me That's to serious. leave? Go. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not what I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's time All right, we're, we're live. Back. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Friendship Podcast. After our additional we'll drawing bonus, a bunch of lovely ladies. All right, quick announcement before we get into the show. Number one, patreon.com slash fresh fit. You guys want to see Fetty Wab's baby mom get kicked off the show since she likes the clout so much? Go and check us out over there. 17, 30. Don't, don't, don't mind the random bald guy in the back. We're taking some B roll for y'all <sighs> since you guys love. Uh, <laughs> shout out to the random Puerto Rican guy in the back. Uh, since you guys wanted um, a new intro and outro, we're filming it right now for y'all. So you guys are watching it right now um so check us out over there patreon.com slash fresh we'll also do zoom calls for you guys help you guys become better men get your you know money up get more attractive get in shape not being a fat piece of shit we got you over there also check us out on spotify google Apple podcast it's anchor.fm slash fresh guys so you get all the behind the scenes content or well not behind the scenes content but you get the audio versions of said content on anchor.fm slash fresh also check us out on discord discord.gg slash fresh and fit and then also get the merch fresh podcast store.com guys hoodies t-shirts all the merch you've learned to come and love where it's, it's out there. And then also, guys, check us out. <clears throat> Chris, did you put it? On the Clips channel. Uh, that's uh, FreshShipPodcast.com. <laughs> and then also the Clips channel. Do you want to say something about it? I think he's drinking. Oh. <laughs> All right, bro. You're Come Chris, on, man. Bro. Yeah, Chris, no, get, I'll, with, the, get I'll, with the program, I'll, I'll man. In the chat. Yeah. Okay. Fresh with Clips, guys. It's our other YouTube channel on there. We post clips. We post two to three clips on there per day. So check us out on Fresh with Clips. We don't post clips on this channel anymore. We post it on the Clips channel. So check us out, guys, over there. If you want to get bite sized portions of the content, you can't, you know, if you don't have time to watch a two to three hour podcast of me losing my hair follicles, cool. Go ahead and watch the uh, Clips channel where you can watch me lose my hair follicles real time. And then you want to tell them about your uh, Clips channel? Yes. And guys, we got a stream your tomorrow. Vlog channel. Um, it's going to be lit, either a blind date or a random truth for there. We don't know yet, but it's going to be lit. Check it out. Uh, vlogs on 100 kind of way. Let's go. <laughs> can't even see fresh in it. All right. And Literally, then, you can't see. Uh, guys, check out my other YouTube channel. It's called Fed1811 on there. I break down criminal cases for you guys. Um, I dropped an episode on Sunday. about Chris, get with it, man. Get with it. All right. <laughs> On Fed 1811, I dropped uh, my other episode, guys, where I talked about a case I broke down myself. Uh, basically, you know, we see 23,000 arrested somebody, and we also went to trial. So I break down how the federal system works for you guys. And then also, I'm going to drop a video for you guys on the bank robbery from 1997, biggest bank robbery in history, 18.9 million uh, robbed. Uh, so, and they found, they solved the case. So I'm going to break that one down for you guys, and it's going to drop tomorrow, 5 p.m. But anyway, let's uh, go ahead and uh, get the ladies introduced. I mean, Chris, real quick. Ladies, oh. so you guys the, fucking up. Well, someone hit the camera t- just now, so I don't know about that. But ladies, uh, Simon Diem, Aaron C. Poxon, Nig, make sure if you find out to some other state to Miami, hit me up. Let's get it. Shout out to the team in the back. Let's make it happen. There you go. Okay, ladies, uh, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, current dating status, education level, and if you want to, of course, your body count. I'll start right here. <laughs> yeah. So name, age, what you do for a living, dating Perfect. status. Um, my name's Carrie Carmody. Um, my name's Carrie Carmody. I'm an entrepreneur, technically. I actually own a bunch of companies, but I'm also a influencer and a social media management like consultant. Mm-hmm. And well, I'm 27. Mm-hmm. My body count is like <laughs> I don't. I mean, I don't know if I should talk to 18. Don't worry, we'll get there. It's up to you, but you don't have to. ish I would say, <laughs> but. I, I was so wild good. when I was like in my early twenties, and now I'm not as wild. But and I'm still d- pretty wild. But you know, dating status. I am in a relationship. Cool, awesome. How, How long? long? Yeah. Um, a couple weeks. A <laughs> couple weeks. <laughs> I know. I know it's good, but sometimes when you snow, you know, you know. I also have five goats, so I just want to include that because my goats are awesome. Five goats. Mm-hmm. Oh. Live on a farm or something. Um. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where are, you, where are you originally from? Boston. Okay. okay. Highest education level completed? 
Um, associates. Okay. But okay. then I stopped because I was making way more money and I just. Okay. And you said you do social media. Like what kind of social media are we talking here? Well, I do social media for, I do social media for a bunch of different companies, but like, um, it kind of varies my own. I've done really well with, and then I also do it for like big companies. Like, so you um, do other people's social media for them. Yes. Okay. okay. So, so you manage their social mm -hmm. media accounts. Yes. Okay. And then you said from Boston, what part? Uh, South Shore, Hull, Massachusetts. Where Massachusetts? Hull, Massachusetts. But you Hull, can... Massachusetts. H U L L. It's the oh, South Shore. Hull. That's where okay. I grew up. And okay, that's I not Boston at all, but fantastic. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm from Connecticut, where's now? What's college in Boston? Boston. So... Okay, so yeah, that's how I know you. You faking it? Okay, what about you? Where are you from? <laughs> oh my it's god! My... What's your name? Okay, my name's Carla. Okay. I'm 25. Okay. And I'm a dancer. A professional dancer. I know what you're thinking. People okay. always, always automatically Not assume. for dollar bills getting thrown at Not you. Not for dollar bills. Okay. I mean, yes, to get paid, but it's like backup you. dancing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I love that. But backup So you be dancing. like in music videos and stuff. Yes, okay. with artists, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, And then, uh, so you're a dancer, 25. Yeah, Where are you originally from? I'm a Texas girl. Okay. What part of Texas? El Paso, a little teeny tiny little I know city. exactly where that is. What? On the Mexican border. Okay. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um... <laughs> Are your parents military or no? No. Okay. You're like originally from there, not yeah. one of the... All right. And then uh, relationship, single? Single, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then um, highest education level completed? Uh, I'm like a semester away from graduating from my bachelor's. Cool. So almost... Okay. What are you majoring? Uh, nutrition. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're going to be a personal trainer or something? I actually was a personal trainer back okay. in Texas. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Cool. What about you? Uh, my name is Ali Lasso. Um, I'm 24 years old, uh -huh. single my highest level of education i'm in my i have one year left to complete my bachelor's for jazz performance voice okay um wait just performance voice yeah i'm a singer okay all right i didn't know that's like the actual major for it yeah okay it's, it's like a jazz performance and then like what's your instrument voice oh uh, okay okay cool okay. and then um where are you originally from um i okay what do you consider where people are from because i've moved around where you, okay where'd you go to high school okay i went to high school in miami Okay, so you're from, I would consider you from Miami, that, wherever your like developmental years are. Okay. Um, okay, 24. And then single relationship? Uh, single. Okay, cool. cool. Welcome. What, what about you. you? Me, my name is Brooke Cabetto. I am a social media. What is it? Is it Bricka? Brooke. Brooke, Brooke, okay. Cabetto, okay. which is Italian, in okay. case anyone cares. How old are you? Know. 21. Okay. Um, single relationship? I am in a fresh relationship, so a couple I just weeks like, just like her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. So so much fun. Um, let's see. I'm a social media influencer. Uh huh. So I do OnlyFans. Go subscribe. Um. <laughs> okay. I do Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Okay. Um, I'm from Michigan, but then I moved to Georgia, and now I live in Florida, so Tampa, Florida. Okay. And uh, but you're originally from Michigan. Yes, exactly. Okay, and uh, highest education level completed? Or are you in school right now? Well, I graduated high school, then I did cosmetology school, and now I'm just kind of chilling, honestly. Okay, so you but I'm doing great. Cosmetology. Okay, <laughs> all right, cool. What about you? So um, I'm a chef. I go by Chef Yes. Hashtag fine ass chef. Um, I'm originally from Mississippi. Thirty three. I don't want to look it. Wait, thirty three? Yes, thirty three. <laughs> single relationship uh, um, married what are you um we are i can't explain it we are fucking harley quinn and the joker that's what we are uh, complicated yeah there we go <laughs> okay. okay all right so you guys are hanging by the, the skin of your teeth fantastic <laughs> yeah. um okay so and then we're, you said you're originally from mississippi and you're a chef yeah i'm a chef um eight years army vet so okay ooh, ooh, army cool vets. Awesome. Um, let's see here. All right, cool. I think I think we got everything. Oh, highest education level completed. Um, I have my associates in applied science for culinary. Okay. Cool. Welcome. All right. What about you? Okay. Do you guys want my like real name or like the name that everybody knows me by? You can get both, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess. You can. All right. Well, my real name is Nadia Goer, mm -hmm. and they call me Egypt. Mm -hmm. I'm 28 years old. What else? You grew up in a Muslim household? Yes. My dad. Ah! All right. Uh, <laughs> you speak Arabic or no? No. 
That's mm. one thing my dad didn't want me to talk about. All right. Um, okay, how old are you? You said 20 what? Eight? 28. Okay, what do you do for work? I am an entertainer. Explain the entertainment. I strip. I'm a dancer. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, highest education level completed? I went to school for nursing. Okay. Wait, nursing? That's a red flag. Mm-hmm. Wait, nurse? I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I right. stopped. And then you stopped? Okay. Yeah. Um, and then where are you originally from? Um, New York. New York? Okay. Uh, and when did you move to Miami? Like two years ago. Okay. Um, so 28, stripper, nursing. Okay. Um, single relationship? Single. Okay. All right, cool. Welcome. What about you? Hi, I'm Nikki Bands. I'm 28, 29, my bad. <laughs> Just had a birthday not too long ago. Wait, 29? Uh-huh. 29, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, I am currently dancing. Um, uh, what kind of dancing are we talking? Pop I'm, blocking like her or on a pole like her? On a pole okay. like her. Okay. We're partners. Okay. <laughs> Make big bags. Okay, yes. cool. Yeah. Um, all right, so... Uh, Highest education level completed? Um, associates in science okay. and 13 credits for my business degree. Okay. And then where are you originally from? Um, I'm originally from West Virginia and I've lived here for two years. Okay. Yeah. Single relationship? Single. Okay. Just said that quick. Single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. What about you? Hello. I'm Gigi. I'm 34. Great. Damn. Um, I... I'm a manager at a hotel, Um, my highest education level. I have a bachelor's in arts and political science and criminal justice, and I'm single. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, BA and CJ, you said? Yes. Um, Mm -hmm. Single, and you said single? Yes. All right, cool. Um, Where'd you do undergrad at, out of curiosity? The Florida State University. Okay, cool. (laughs) And I'm, oh, I'm from Miami, Florida, Miami Lakes to be exact. Okay, cool. All right, what about you? Hi, um, I'm Rachel. I do HR in a nursing home. Um, my highest level of education is a bachelor's in science. Mm. And I am from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, all my life, born and raised. Cool. Okay. And single relationship? Very much single. Okay. And how old are you? I'm 24. 24. Okay. And you do HR? Yeah, in a nursing home. In a nursing home. Okay. Yeah. So you'd be firing people for not yes. <laughs> tending to the old people <laughs> yes. appropriately. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay. What about you? All right. So my name is Jessica, also known as Jess Vibe. Um, okay. How old are you? I'm 33 years old. Okay. What do you do for it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that was us, awesome, by the way. Uh-huh. It's the sound for me. Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, so I have a hookah business, Hi Sididi, mm. hookahs and entertainment. Um, I also have Bitches and Bottles. It's an event. <laughs> company. Yes, Bitches and Bottles. It's yes, always a vibe. It's always bitches and it's always bottles. Period. That's a, that's a good name. <laughs> Do you have the feminists try to shut you down? No. Absolutely not. Oh, it's really? a vibe. Everybody okay. wants to come. I don't know. It's kind of degrading to women. It's no, it's insecure not. vibes. No, if you're a vibe, then I'm you just understand. kidding with you. I, yeah. I, 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 I Imagine naming our podcast. You. Imagine our, if we named that shit, and tables. Bitches and Tables. So they were <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's a long time ago. All right, so okay, so you run a hookah business and bitches yes. and bottles, fantastic. And yes. then uh, thirty-three is Je- uh, Jess. And then where are you from originally? So I was born in Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky, to be exact. Okay, but I was raised in Miami. Okay, you're in Miami, girl. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then single, relationship, married. Most definitely single. I play these niggas like they try to play us. Oh shit! Fantastic. Mm-hmm. How, and uh, please explain how you play them. I just. <laughs> I just do the same thing that they do. You us. have sex with them and run away? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I, 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 won't, I won't lie to you. Sometimes, but it's not sex. I get the head and leave. Uh, so you're a dick robber. If that's what you want to call it. Okay. I, I don't know what we call it nowadays, but that's what happens. I get a lot of head. Okay. So question. Do you think it's a W if you have sex with a guy and then you never talk to him again? It depends on how good it was. <laughs> okay. Because if if... In that moment, I get what I needed, then it's a win for me. Okay. I don't know about him, but it's a win for me. So you think if you have sex with a guy and you run away, it's a W for you, regardless, pretty much? If it was yeah, good. if it was good. Okay, but if it was bad? If it was bad, then no. Like, you waste them. Yeah, that was like a waste of my time. Not My time is very valuable. Interesting. Okay. 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 All Lovely. right. Um, all right. And then I think I'll hit the chats here unless you wanted to... Do you have... 
So you want to ask the lady something first. Or? Just real quick. So ladies, right, we can do this back and forth. Where ask, ask a question or you ask a question to us on the panel. But I want to know off rip. One out of ten. What do you rate yourself out of looks? And we'll start right here. One out of ten. What do you rate yourself out of looks? One out of ten. 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 Yeah. Go on. Okay. If, if I don't believe in me, who will? You could have fooled me. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Uh, One out of ten. Nine point five. Okay. There's always room for improvement. Love oh, that. Oh, that's cute. Cool. What about you? I say a nine. Nine. Okay. I'm going to say a nine, too, because I'm with you. Like, there's always room for improvement. Mm. But I feel amazing. Interesting. Okay. Good. A 10. 10? Mm-hmm. All right. No improvement. <laughs> I'm going to go with the 9.5, too. 9.5? Yeah. All right. Mississippi in the house. All right. I guess it's my turn. Um, I am going to go with a solid 8 because I see a lot of hot bitches around here, you know, like everywhere. But I'm I'm not bad. You know, it's whatever. Okay. You all, all right? right. Um, just looks alone, right? Yeah, six point five. Hmm. Okay. Just looks a nine too. Yeah, a nine. Mm-hmm. All right. I'd say a flexible eight because I can definitely glam up. Um, so flexible eight, sometimes a nine, ten if I really try. Cool. All right. So we have the tally here. I'm sure the chat will chime in as well. But okay, let's do some super chats real quick. Okay. Uh. Okay. So, where we at, Chris? Okay. We got here five bucks from five sports betting. I uh, just wanted to say Myron's rant earlier about race was 100. Couldn't agree more. Anyways, how many of you ladies, girls are single mothers slash not with the kids dad? Okay. Anyone here have a kid? Me. We have uh, three. Okay. Four girls with, chi- with children. Okay. Are you with the baby's father? No. 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 No, I'm not. Jerry. Okay. Jerry. <laughs> uh, so the chat knows. Okay. Shout out to Patrick Bet David, CEO of Value Tainment for the interview with Top G, Andrew Tate. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Thank you, Walter and Myron, for the content and the masculine encouragement. Godspeed. All right. Thanks, Thanks Lewis. Uh, five star sports betting. Uh, pick one, your Instagram or a long term man. This is actually Ooh, a pretty good question. A good one. Okay. Let's just say, uh, w- ladies, uh, boyfriend or your Instagram, and we'll start here and then work our way this way. Boom. Instagram. IG. Okay. Damn. God. Okay. I mean, no. No, no, no. Uh, keep keep, keep it. Keep yeah. it. No. IG or boyfriend? Oh my gosh, I'm such a girl. A boyfriend. Okay. Wait, I'm I'm choosing one or the other, right? Yes. yes. Either boyfriend or Instagram. What would you prefer? What, what would you choose? Well, I date with the intention of getting married, so boyfriend. Okay. okay. Oh God. So this is a terrible question. Um, Instagram, I love. Like I literally post all the time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but my boyfriend, I also love. Um. Uh, you just met him though, right? <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Don't say that. He's not paying your no, bills. The truth. He's not paying my bills, and my Instagram kind of does. So let's see. Mm-hmm. Do I have right. to answer? Yes. <laughs> One or the other. All right. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go with boyfriend because okay. he do be making me happy. Man, that took a long time. He do be making right, me what happy. What about you? IG or your boyfriend? Damn, that's tough. Um, but IG, IG. pays the bills. It's IG. IG. It we already know. All right. She ain't picking the Joker in this one. What about you? Instagram. Okay. I would say a long-term relationship. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you'll hang up the Instagram for the boyfriend? For sure. Okay. Mm. What if about he's you? He's a good one. Okay. <laughs> My husband. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, it's boyfriend. Boy. Boyfriend then, but he will be my husband. Okay, yeah. all right. Well, she's claiming that. <laughs> what, what about, hey, hey. What about you? Boyfriend or Instagram? manifest girl? Boyfriend. I mean, if he if it's leading to a long term thing, right? If the majority of your income's from Instagram, that's a big sacrifice. So, mm-hmm. boyfriend, if he's going to be your husband, yeah. What if he doesn't want to be your husband unless you get rid of the Instagram? Mm. If I still have yeah. means of legitimate income outside of my Instagram, then that's a legitimate sacrifice. Yes. Wait, you firing people at HR? What do you need Instagram for? <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm just saying, if it was my main means of income and I didn't have other sources, girls always want to reserve the right to be on Instagram. Okay, yeah, very interesting. Uh, you would say what Instagram? Boyfriend. Okay, and it took a while. What about you? I'm actually really not big on social media okay mm-hmm. i i don't care for it i'm on it because it helps with well they're not gonna know about bitches on. and bottles so what are you gonna <laughs> yeah, know, exactly right? so <laughs> i i do do the instagram but i'm gonna have to go with my man okay okay that's right. more important all right me. that's good all right, this is, I think, the first time where boyfriend beat Instagram. Yeah. Is this the first time? The, definitely. Yeah. yeah, reluctant, though. Some of them were very yeah. reluctant, but okay. Uh, <laughs> I have to change my answer, but I'm... But, like, low-key, I have one thing to say, if that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. So, do you really want to marry someone that's going to tell you what to do? Hmm. Mm. I absolutely couldn't. Right. right. Hmm. Okay. But if he tells you to delete Instagram, do you really want to be with him? 
No. Nope. No. Exactly. Wow. Form of really? Security. Okay. Right. Let me ask uh, the ladies um, real fast. Sure. Um, do you want a guy with the raise of hands, by the way? Do you want a guy that's taller than you? Ideally, raise the hands, yeah. raise them up nice and high so I know who's who. Okay. Do you want a guy that's stronger than you physically? Well, it's not hard to be strong. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Just, I just, just asking. <laughs> no. Do you want a guy that makes more money than you? I mean, they want broke niggas? No. No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, keep it real. Extreme, keep it real. Like, like, no. let's say, let's say he makes fifty percent more than you do. So if you make a hundred thousand, he makes hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Yes or no? That's Raise your hands. Who would say no to that? Yeah. You'd say no. Who would say no? Oh, who that? would say no? Okay, so it looks like it's universal. Yes. Sure, okay. Sure. And uh, do you want a guy that's uh, more confident and ambitious and more experienced than yourself? Raise a hand on that one. Yes or no? I would say yes. I do. Because I don't mind. Just I raised. I don't care what you got to say about it. Just say yes <laughs> or no. Very <laughs> simple. I'm a guy that's more confident and ambitious than yourself. Raise a hand. Yes. Get the hands up so I can see. Okay. Interesting. So a couple girls actually don't want a guy more experienced than it looks like one or two less experienced. Okay. Some just okay. I'm just taking a, a note on that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some chats here. Yeah. Very interesting. Okay. We'll keep going. Uh, okay. Five bucks from Kyle S. Can you smoke once at night if you do seven figures and it helps you process items slash orders when you start getting tired and bored from working 15 hours straight? My thing is, why can't you find something else to do that will help you stay focused? Well, a lot of you guys want to find excuses to be to, to do stupid shit, and I'm not going to give you that that out. Uh, Brody uh, McMichael. Why Shardy got gloves on in the studio? It gives killed my husband vibes. <laughs> it's called fashion. All right. Okay. Uh, Blackest Panther said, uh, did the forecast call for snow in Miami tonight? Oh, I see what he did there. Why? Snow bunnies. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Shout out to Rod, Eric, and Big Mo. Uh, check also fresh. I had to turn off my notifications because my follower account gained over 5,000. That's from Girls Vision. Good stuff for you, yeah, my we friend. We did an Instagram breakdown yesterday, so I brought up his page on my, on my uh, stream. Okay, nice. Yeah. Ramik Park goes, yo, man. That dude, if he ever comes back, needs to tone it down with the details. I had to toss my food because of him. <laughs> eh, it's okay, guys. Don't worry. Blackest Panther. If any of the ladies doesn't like being called fat, when you should do, uh, then you should do something about it. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Who fat? Uh, official Andre Angel goes. If I, uh, I try to explain to my girl that this show would help our relationship, but she gets triggered with the idea that men and women are different. Yeah, bro. I mean, at that point, she's lower IQ, bro. I don't know what to tell you. Your girl's stupid. Blackest Panther. Ladies, what image comes to mind when you hear the term happy wife, happy life? Do you think marriage is a good deal for most men? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Real quick, I can go around the table on this. Do you think marriage is a good deal for men? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. With me, yes. Okay, in general. <laughs> yes. Okay. In general? Yeah. I'm literally 50 50. If you had to choose, I'm going to say the person without the right mindset is a loss. Like you're losing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's all subjective. <sighs> okay. You don't, so you, you don't answer, know. but okay. It's very simple. It, it, I know it's hard. I... Fresh run this. I got to deal with something real quick. Okay. We'll just move on. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I, I I think that marriage is beneficial to men. Okay. Yeah. For you? No. 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 Hell no, they cheating anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, they cheating. And you might as well just be single and get a bunch of can we say the B word? Yeah. I mean, a bunch of bitches. There we go. <laughs> okay. I mean, I know it might be hard for them, but if they're willing to, I don't know, commit, then yes, for sure. Okay. It's beneficial to women. Not not men. No, mm -hmm. not men. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Okay, I think a good man, yes, but obviously most men, no. I'm gonna say definitely not. <laughs> okay, and definitely not. Definitely not. So um, we got. Yeah. So pretty much, did every girl say that it's beneficial for a guy to get no. married? No. Got like one, two, three. No. no. Four no's. Yeah. Three, four no's. Four no's, and then all the six yes. yeses. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That's crazy. Interesting. Interesting. All right. All right. Diego N. Uh, ladies, what three-letter word starts with gas? <laughs> Wait, what? what? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> gas. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm lost. I'm back. Alert. I got my credit card this past January, and as of today, my score 731. Thanks, to Jess Sparrow and Myron, for the advice. Also, have you watched Death Note yet? It may be time to put it to use. And that's from Google Facts. I watched a couple episodes. I didn't like it. I'll be honest with y'all. What? Yeah, I didn't like it. That's just hard. Yeah, I didn't like it. Feta Piccolo. Uh, FNF, best podcast in the world. Shout out to the ladies. Which one of y'all can swallow a glizzy with no hands? 
<laughs> I don't well. think they'd want to do that. That'd be very dangerous. Bottom G, 20 bucks. Okay. Baby girl. Baby girl. Okay. And then uh, Kumasan goes, whole panel smell like secret Dorian, backwoods, and summer's eve. This nigga, bro. What the fuck? Uh, he's trying to say that to Ratchet. Anyway, uh, Darno Elliott, 50 bucks goes, just finished watching your day episode about the rapper who died at Roscoe's while waiting for you. Uh, never my, never on time, black folks. If you, they used her Instagram, how come they didn't shoot her? This wasn't a robbery. This was a hit. Because she didn't have the jewelry. She, she was not a target, time. bro. She wasn't a target. Duh. Yeah. I mean, did you have a son you wanted to ask about that, by the way? Yeah. So, ladies, real quick, you guys know what's going on with PMB Rock. He passed away. Yeah. His girlfriend went to uh, the waffle shop and uh, he got shot. So, this thing online, basically, it's maybe the girl's fault or it was a hit from somewhere else. Someone might tip them off. In your opinion, was it his girl's fault or somebody else that caused him to die? And well, we'll start right here. So, you saw the video, right? He got shot in a restaurant. The girl made a post on Instagram. They're saying that she's the one that caused it to happen. What do you think? So maybe her her story alarmed them where they were at. Mm -hmm. But I don't think she did that on purpose. Now, if they can find where she never posted where they've gone before, mm -hmm. then maybe. But I don't think that's the case. She literally was at Roscoe and Waffles and showed her food. She didn't show him none of that. Everyone shows their food on Instagram nowadays. So no, I don't I wouldn't I don't blame her at all. Okay. What about you? I feel like maybe what's meant to happen is meant to happen. There's no way she can avoid like the impulse to post something with all this anxiety to preface it. If it happens, it happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not her fault. I wouldn't say it's her fault. No, that's putting a lot of responsibility and weight on her shoulders. Accountability? It's a lot, yeah. Especially, yeah. you know, to it's very heavy. Yeah. I got you. I don't think it was her fault. No? Why? Um bring an article. I'm like, should I say this or should I not? I just feel like Speak your truth. For okay, for something like that, for something like that to happen, mm -hmm. I feel like it was something planned. And I know certain people that do certain things and you have to plan for certain things. Mm. I don't think a real life killer is just gonna go up to somewhere off of Instagram post in like yeah. 30 seconds. Like this stuff has to be planned, figured out, get away, everything. So it ha no, it's not her fault. It was he was already a target. I in my eyes. Mm, that's a good point. I feel like um, several situations could have caused it, you know, both um, social media posting. I feel like when you're a certain status, you have to know how to move. It, even if you're a target, you, you need to know how to move and the people around you need to know how to move too. So. Well said. So whose fault is it then? Um, I didn't say, I said that several situations had an impact on what happened so Maybe. you don't think that you don't think that that play, uh her instagram post plays a, a part in it so it's not it's i not said yes all? yes it, no, you think it is i think some yes Okay. You don't but think I feel like maybe he could have maybe, you know, I don't know the whole situation. I'm just talking from, you know, what I have heard. Um maybe, you know, he could have had something going on, uh, you know, with Wouldn't his, it be fair in to his say life that as the wife slash girlfriend slash you know what's going on that you should know better that and mm -hmm. know that your guy's more than likely probably being targeted, especially when you talked about it in public outlets like the academics mm -hmm. podcast. One hundred percent. So wouldn't it be fair to say that mm -hmm. the big contributor to that was potentially her post and what she was doing? Especially knowing the background of who her guy is. Yes, that's what I said. Yeah, I feel like it's not what you said, but okay. <laughs> you said there were a couple <laughs> other things that contributed. You were trying. No, to, I feel like I said of... I feel like a lot of situations contributed. Her posting because mm -hmm. I elaborated on when you're in that status, you need to know how to move. Yeah. You know, it's a mixture of influence. Right, mm -hmm. right, and it could have been just they saw him and and someone just saw him. There's people always lurking to hit a lick, so you never know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think it was her fault because she just got her Instagram back mm. and the first post how you're in the car with him and then why why all of a sudden you guys are going out to eat just to like a regular place and you post the plate meanwhile if you're dating a rapper or anybody mm. that's in a certain type of category um, I feel like when you're at a place you shouldn't post until after because it's dangerous. You don't know you're wearing jewelry. You have a lot of followers. All these people yeah. are watching you. I don't even post. Like, I don't feel like it's safe at all. So I feel like it is. 
it mm. is her fault. She should have never posted that. Mm. That's a good point. That's all. You got something? I mean, just because you don't feel like you should post and do all of that, maybe that wasn't her mind okay. frame. Maybe that wasn't her mind frame. So just because that's the way you think doesn't necessarily mean that was what where her mind was at. You know, most people are private, but I don't know. I don't know his girlfriend. I don't know what type of relationship they had, what was going on. But I do feel like if she really wanted to case him up, that wasn't the way. She could have went home with him and sent a drop and let them know that they were at the house or something like that. Like, it, that would have been too obvious. That's why I don't think it was her fault. But you can't, sub, you can't project your mindset on other people. Well, that's just how I feel. No, then you're entitled to it. Yeah. That was a great debate. Wow. It was not a debate at all. <laughs> I, what the fuck? Like, like, you know, I mean, I, like, here's the thing. Like, you can say that, like, you can't project what you think onto other people. But, like, if someone does something stupid, you should be able to say, okay, well, that wasn't intelligent. What should have been done is this. And then if you take moves that don't necessarily align with something that was dumb, you should be able to vocalize that and say, if you're a celebrity or somebody, you need to mitigate risk and probably posting where you're at real time when you're there. I mean, that's a valid critique. So, I mean, what which I think she's correct in her analysis. No, absolutely. And I'm not taking that like, away. Whether from, it's projecting I'm, it or not is irrelevant. And I'm not taking that away from her argument. But also sometimes we don't know something is stupid until we get burned. It's just like a child. You don't know that the stove is going to burn your hand until you touch it. So maybe now this would be a learning but experience for her. But is she not an adult? Her. I mean, she should know. There's a lot of stupid adults. Okay, but I mean, what she did, the argument is what she did was, was did she is it her fault? And again, I did not take that away from the argument. Well, you try to... No, I did not. You try to minimize what she did and it, like uh, try to make invalidate her point saying that, yo, you're projecting your thoughts on what she did as if it's wrong. And it's like, oh, she, she made, made a valid no, point. No, that's actually not what I said. I said, you're entitled to exactly what you said. I did not take that from her. Well, you tried to refute her claim as like you're projecting it, which means it's not valid. No, I'm just saying. Are that we, we watching the same project. podcast right now, guys? <laughs> I hope we are. No, I, I'm just saying we can't. Pro if we tried to make everyone if we thought that everyone thought the way that we thought we're always going to miss what the other person actually feels or thinks sometimes people need to be told and need they got to learn or whatever the case may be i'm not taking that from her i absolutely said you're right okay so i get what you're saying but we're just talking about the actual action itself mm -hmm. so was, it, was it dumb or not yeah she probably shouldn't have done that right Okay. What the fuck? Okay. Yo. All right. Yo, yeah. oh, man. Okay. I'm right. Sorry. Uh, no offense. You're just arguing to argue. Okay. Continue. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So, for one, it was the killer's fault. So, let's all dub that. It was the killer's fault. It was the person that actually pulled the trigger. Their mm. fault. Mm. But I'm ex military. So, I'm going to say her post in a location was dumb as hell. And I move very militant. That was dumb. You know what type of man you deal with. Mm -hmm. You know you're with the guy in the industry. You could have posted that when y'all got home and you're in a bed mm -hmm. sleep. And that was that simple. It could have been a factor of who found y'all. Mm -hmm. They said within 20 minutes they were there. 20 minutes is not a lot of time for street people. Sorry, and that's just being honest. Mm -hmm. I'm from the streets. And it don't take them. It could take them 10 minutes to get up there from one post. So they say he posted and they said she posted. Confirmation. Mm -hmm. So it was not smart at all. If you're going to deal with celebrities, ladies, just we don't want to lose no more lives. Don't post at the time, you know. Especially the neighborhood they were in. Exactly. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. That was awesome. Uh, all right. All right. So what I'm going to say is like being famous, you have to be careful, you know. But um, I honestly haven't like kept up with much of it. But like with her being his girlfriend, like obviously she knows more than like everyone else, clearly. So that kind of puts her out of like up here, like kind of like maybe her being like a little bit guilty like she knows more than everyone else knows so you know yes or no <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> yes bro man i think like loki yes <laughs> okay all right lovely fantastic i'm dead okay just answer the question directly ladies that, yeah i don't the only context i'm understanding is that what they both posted the mm. place that they were at correct on their mm -hmm. instagram story mm -hmm. i mean uh, i looked at his story i didn't see anything on him posting where they were at i think okay, that might so have been a didn't... fan only to her. my knowledge, from when I look, because I looked at the day of at when at when he got shot, 
I didn't see anything about him being there. He posted like stuff on his music, but not where he was at. Okay. Or he okay. posted him driving with this girl in the but, car, but yeah. not a location. They said behind the restaurant, supposedly. I mean, I didn't see it either, but yeah, they said behind. I didn't see it when I looked okay. at his. Might have been a fan, but who knows? Right. Go ahead. So I don't know, you know, their relationship. I don't know how long they've been together. I don't know if she's been in this, involved in this, um, you know, crowd before. If she has, she is at fault because she should know better. If she's just a person that has never experienced this type of they're married before. they've been together oh, well, for a very long time okay, yeah i didn't have that context. she knows what type of time he's on yeah or what type of person he is sir that's that that doesn't look good i so I, it's a yes or no uh i do think that it's a planned thing it's it's weird to me when i see things where somebody posts a story i'm not saying that she planned the murder i'm just saying that it's weird to me when there's a posted story right and then somebody that's a celebrity passes away mm -hmm. okay. um so i would say yes that she is a bit at fault okay okay i agree okay she didn't kill him but even someone who's not a celebrity you shouldn't be posting your location when you're there that's just that's just common sense okay. especially nowadays you cannot be doing that so she right. should have waited what about you I think he should have made her sign an NDA. And also, that's his wife. <laughs> either way, I, I have NDAs for everyone around me. Most of the time, not here. But hmm. I, I, sorry, I think he should have been on, like, if she's taking a photo while they're together, she should have an NDA signed. Even if it's a, his wife, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Wait, um, okay. an NDA okay. every why time? Sign this? I have NDAs for everybody in my life. I'm like, dude, sign this. Because I have a big social media following and I, don't really care. I'm very honest. That being said, if you post a photo, I've I've had people come up to me in airports and be like, "Hey, like you're the girl from TikTok or whatever it is," and Stop I'm like, the cow. <laughs> So how, how many? How many said, uh, now, I'm, now I'm curious. How many followers you got on TikTok and Instagram? One point three million on TikTok. Uh -huh. Instagram, I have like hundred and seventy thousand. Okay. On one of them, I have millions of accounts, but. Okay. Yeah. So you think it was her fault and he should have made no, or, no his wife should have made her sign an NDA. So did, do you think he <laughs> took the photo when she or she took the photo when he was in the bathroom or like because like we don't know. We just she just took a picture of the food. That being said, like I mean, he, was he aware of like it's hard to say if he was aware of the fact that she's taking the photo and then tagging it. That's different. But I would if I'm a celebrity, I'm gonna make I'm not even a celebrity. I just know the implications of information. So I try mm -hmm. to make sure people know like don't tag me while i'm anywhere except for here i guess well apparently he took her phone away before in the past um because she was probably posting stuff she shouldn't be posting he, he, she got about that same day or that same week mm -hmm. okay, and she posted right away so that's fucked up. she knew what was up i mean on that's some wrong level. then that's like but i'm not saying she was the murderer but that's all that's definitely messed up quick, quick question for the girls uh, uh since we're on this topic do you think uh most girls are addicted to social media yes or no uh yes okay okay so easy yeah okay uh in terms of like people on social media the, the average girl yeah. nowadays mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay i'm definitely gonna say yes okay right. yes 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 damn yeah unfortunately no yes. one's a contrarian i see no, all right so honestly. universally all the girls think in general women are addicted to social media yeah okay all right fair enough uh Okay, that's very interesting. Uh, we'll keep going here. Okay, hi fam, uh, love your work. Please shout out my brother uh, Faisal. He recently got out of marriage, fresh and fit. If you can give him advice, what to do with his future, he'd be listening. Thanks, fam, appreciate it. Um, get out there on. and date a bunch of different girls, man. Um, do not go ahead and get married because I know some of you guys. Six of you said that marriage is good, and four of you said marriage is not good. Real quick, for the six, who are the six? Raise your hand that said you think marriage is good for, for the guy, for the man, for the man specifically. Okay, cool. Um, name one benefit that men enjoy from marriage that they don't get in a regular relationship. Besides taxes. <laughs> I mean, you get home cooked meals. You get you get that a with a girlfriend. You get that with a girlfriend. Not with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, especially catered. <laughs> Not with me. At the top of the show, ladies, I said in general, the conversation does not necessarily, you know, tie back to you. I'm asking in general. What do men get as a benefit in marriage that they don't get in a regular relationship with a girlfriend? So I'm going to be real honest. I don't have a lot of married friends. I have parents that are married. Um, I know what I would do in a marriage. Can you give me one benefit? 
If you can't, that's fine. I I'll just move one. on. I I again, one. I said, you, you get someone to take care of your kids, take care of home. Girlfriend could, can do that. She could, but I'm just saying I wouldn't. Like a hire a nanny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about you? I would say the ability to grow in an uncomfortable position because there's a lot less judgment that comes with marriage, whereas in a boyfriend-girlfriend relationship, there is that extra layer that kind of keeps you from getting too deeply rooted in each other. And a marriage kind of pulls back that layer and allows you to be overtly vulnerable and like chaotic. And How does that benefit men? Because men don't always have that platform to be emotionally vulnerable and having a marriage that that should be there, the basis of that marriage. Chaotic? Like, yeah, like to be a little less tailored emotionally to express himself, even if it is chaotic, a wife can see that maybe he needs that support to work deeper and grow emotionally or grow mentally. Do you think a husband being vulnerable with his wife is a good idea? Yes, I do. Really? Yes. Yes. What if I told you I disagree 1000% that being vulnerable with your girl is, is not good I at all? I think that your beliefs and your expectations of life have brought you validation in those beliefs because okay. you, you attract what you believe. Okay. Um, so you have every right to feel that way because what you've seen has proven valid to that point because that is your spectrum of experience. And what if I right. told you there's a bunch of, not only do I have anecdotal experience, but I also have biological evidence that proves that women are not necessarily capable of accepting a vulnerable man. A man that's vulnerable isn't able to provide security. And a man uh, that can't provide security too, is not too, attractive. It's too black and white. And I appreciate the extreme... I, exp I really appreciate that mm -hmm. like very rigid sense of awareness. But um, in my experience, it's not that rigid. Um, okay. Question for you. Uh, you're a woman, correct? So yeah, you've only, you've women. never dated women as a man, correct? No. Okay. So would it be fair to say that women have certain standards and wants out of a man? Yes, that's a legitimate. Security is probably one of the biggest ones. Emotional or financial security? What do you mean security? I would say both probably because they both, both tie to each other fairly tight. I don't but think it would be, in, I don't think it would be um, wise to assume a woman should find that emotional stability and security in a man. I think it's found within self and then it's kind of parallel within a, one, a woman wants to be able to cry to her man and know that he's a stable rock and everything's going to be okay and she's not going to have any type of issues. Sure, yes. Okay. Yes. However, it doesn't work the other way around. I when a man just, cries in front of a woman, that no. woman will lose respect for him no. to some degree and or be unattracted to no, him. No. Now, are there some women out there that could sit there and tolerate their man being a complete bitch? For sure. However, most women don't want a guy who's weaker than themselves and they want a guy that can provide security but what in do you general. Define, what do you define as weaker? Because expressing vulnerability and manifesting it in terms of crying or being very verbal does not express directly as being incapable of being that still masculine energy that can still provide and still be secure i think it's a sense of self-awareness that comes from being able to express to your woman in this moment i need you to comfort me obviously if it's every day and there's no ability to cope within himself and no sense of internal self-soothing then yes it can be overwhelming it can be a turn off why open up pandora's box why does it have to be pandora's box why because be women aren't necessarily equipped and or understand male struggles at all well well, so men and women have different life experiences that different vastly change the way we view the world and we view adversity and problems. We have different perspectives. We have similar experiences. It's all not about at all. There's there's a there's a burden of performance on men that is not on women. If a so man's sure. a loser, he feels the ramifications of being said loser. If a woman's a loser, it's not that big a deal. She can go ahead and find a guy to take care of her. Lies. Men must Lies. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I have a great hold on. statement. So. There is a burner performance on men. Men must be stronger. Uh -huh. oh, actually, yeah. matter of fact, hold on. Just rewind the show. <laughs> All of you guys said you wanted a man who's taller than you. I didn't say that. Stronger than I you. Didn't say makes more money than you. It's not hard to All be of you describe the man. All of you will describe the man who, quite frankly, on paper is better than yourself. So my thing is this. Wait. We can. Let me finish my point. Women are. Sexually aroused by and attracted to men that are better than themselves, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's a yeah. biological hardwiring for that. Sure. And if a woman is with a man who is inferior, she's not going to respect him to the same degree. She might refer to him as a joker. She might say, we just started dating or whatever it may be. But when a woman is with a man that she respects, she speaks about him in a certain way. And she, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah. she talks about him in a certain way, and she looks a certain way when mm -hmm. she speaks about said man. Yeah. So my thing is, women respect strength. Being vulnerable and crying in front of your girl is not attractive. Now, 
Could there be a minority of women out there that will accept yeah. a guy that will cry like being a bitch, whatever? For sure. But if I lined up 100 women, I would argue 90 of them are probably going to be turned off by a guy no. that cries and doesn't have security set. No. So my thing is, if I know 90% of women are not attracted to that, I got to go off the generalities. No. Don't cry in front of your girl because most women don't understand that we live different experiences and men must perform. Women cannot. I could go ahead and find a girl that's 19 years old, that's a fucking bimbo working at McDonald's, and she could probably pull a millionaire. However, if I take a guy that's extremely handsome working at McDonald's, he ain't going to pull no fucking millionaire woman. It is not the same. Men must perform. For women, it's elective. <clears throat> you got a point? Or you go um, ahead. Um, I just, I, I mean, I think there's a sense of strength that comes with vulnerability. And you want, like, when you're looking for marriage, you say everything's generalized. But when you're looking for marriage, are you looking for that generalized woman? Or are you looking for that 1% that really connects with who you are? And if you live within that mindset that women are within the same sector of existence, then you'll always attract women within that within that mindset. So I know how women in general think. And uh, I, even though what you're saying sounds politically correct and a woman should be able to accept a, the guy that cries, I'm saying that most women are not. It's very different when you're with a man, that man's responsible for taking care of you, protecting you, and providing for you. And he cries in front of you saying, I don't know what we're going to do. You used to be in the military, right? Mm -hmm. If you're a commanding officer, you guys are in the middle of a confrontation or whatever, and he starts like, oh, no, no, what the fuck we're going to do? Bullets are fucking flying. Everything else okay. may be uh, fucking going haywire, etc. He's your commanding officer. How's that going to make you feel? Shit, I'm going to feel like we're fucked. Exactly. So. <laughs> now, when it comes to a relationship, women tend to view their guy the same way. If he, mm. if he can, And if he can't perform, they're going to look at him like, what the fuck is going on? It's one thing to say, I'll accept the man that's vulnerable. However, when he's sitting there in front of you crying, not knowing how he's going to pay the bills or take care of you, you guys might lose the house. I promise your vagina is going to dry up. But I promise you. But that's so different. You're speaking about vulnerability in a financial instability sense. If you're speaking about vulnerability in an emotional capacity, it's very different. It's all subjective. If you're if you're saying, hey, I'm going to be your provider, I'm going to take care of things. And then one day you're like, oh, my God, like, what the fuck do I do? I don't know what to do. That's different because it's like you did express you would have this figured out. But if you say, listen, I'm going to take care of you financially, but I don't always have it together emotionally. I don't always have it together <laughs> like in certain ways. And I need you to be willing to hear me out when I need that support. That's true. I have yeah. why, so I, why, why go to a woman for that when I can go to my guy friends who are better? No, why, why, is that, why is that your innate impulsive yeah. response. That's so, your personal experience is what I'm going to say. That that's my personal your, experience? Oh, no, I would say I that's your personal experience. I would really hate want it. To say. I would hate it if my boyfriend came to That me. is your personal experience because, because I feel like merch. Okay, relationship, well, whether okay, it's male, ahead. female, male, male, female, female, it's all about communication. Yeah. You tell them how you feel yeah. and okay. that gets the point across and you can fix things. You can a plus B I want to fuck C. other bitches and you're going to be at home and you can't have sex with other guys. Yeah. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to have sex with other girls. You must be monogamous to me. However, I'm going to go out there and have sex with other girls. I'm going to look at other girls and you can't look at other guys. Matter of fact, I also want you to take your Instagram down. Can't go on girls nights out, etc. How does that yeah, make you feel? And that is 100 percent accurate. Honestly, okay. I agree with that. that. that? Now, now, hold on. Here's the thing. If I told most girls that, they would not accept it. This is why men can't be honest with women. Why? Like, I know, because it's I just disgusting. proved my point just now. Hold on. They would want That's that. what most men want. want in their girlfriend, but they cannot say that. Why should that? The... I don't know. It's what? okay for you to do it, but it's That's not extreme. okay for us to do it. That's Rich. extreme? Okay. Rich, you, you want, think like, that if you, you were to meet more. your divine life partner, someone you oh, really want to spend divine your life, life with, you would, yeah, like your <laughs> ultimate, who you want to commit your life to, you would want to have that. I was giving an example of what most men want within a relationship. Wait, I just described just it. Facts. Is that what you would want? I if I lined up 100 women, 95 of them would agree with me. Mm -hmm. I, agree. I agree with him. I agree with you. That guys would want that. But this is what men want. It, Hell yeah, they so want true. it. To That's cheat what they want are you and crazy? to be... See, you, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the difference between me and you. Gosh, these are like really... Like we're talking about people that are so superficial. See, here's the difference between me and her. I understand how women think and I also understand how men think. The difference is this. Women are in a very privileged position yeah. where they don't have to understand how men think yeah. because men come up to you no matter how you look, how you behave, <laughs> whatever. Men, however, that are good with women at least, must understand how women think to mm -hmm. attract them and retain them. Okay. So the reason why you're able to say the things that you're saying, which <laughs> I'll be honest with you, are fairly ludicrous, is because <laughs> you don't understand what it's like to date a woman as a man and that weakness is not tolerated by women. It's a biological instinct. Women are designed to look for men that are better than themselves that can provide for them. So if I show traits of lack of security, lack of awareness, lack of leadership in the chaos. What happens is the girl loses respect for me and she's going to start to look for other men. 
It starts with the bills, starts with me crying, starts with me being vulnerable. So what I tell guys is go out there and talk to men that understand your gripes because women aren't. We live different worlds where there isn't the same burn of performance. You can get into a nightclub for free. I must pay. You can get on a boat just by get it existing. I must pay. I go ahead. I have to get a certain job and make a certain amount of income to attract a certain caliber of woman. You don't. So you cannot sit there and say we are the same. We play by different rules. We have different uh, realities. And unfortunately, that coincides with how we mate with each other and how we deal with each other. So for you to say, oh, you should be able to be vulnerable with me. No. For you, you could be vulnerable to a man. He's not going to judge you. But if a man is vulnerable to a woman, there's a high likelihood that she will judge him. Okay, well, I wouldn't if you're vulnerable to Okay, fantastic. That's you. But the exception does not make the rule. 90% or better of women will judge their man for being vulnerable. So I'm going to say for a guy, for you to have the best chance of success, don't be vulnerable in front of your girl. If you got a fucking problem, go cry to your guy because she doesn't want to hear it. And on top of that, she can't really help you. Deal with it. Yeah, so here's the scenario, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Let's say, for example, your guy comes home to you one day. He might lose his job. He says, you know what? Babe, I'm working on it. I got a plan. Don't worry. We, we'll take a vacation. This will be all over, right? I got you. So he tells you what's up. But he's, he's a, a, like a, a solution for solution. it to solve the problem. Or you might say, for example, your, your guy comes home. Damn, babe, I'm going to lose my job. I'm just crying on your shoulder. I don't know what to do. Which scenario is better? We're just saying, look, at the end of the day, you might be able to handle it, but she might not be able to ha- yes, uh, handle it's it. Security as a, as, as a result, it's like, yo, like, why take that risk? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Solve the problem. Talk to your boys. Fix it. You know what, babe? It's solved. Let's go on vacation. It's done. Yeah. And, you, you, and, and then, again, you both win. You don't lose. You got to remember that just because you can tolerate doesn't mean other girls can. Yeah. And, so if I'm going to yeah. speak to men in general and tell them the best way to deal with women, I'm going to tell them, don't be vulnerable in front of your girl. Handle it on your own. If you do have an issue, go deal with your guy friends, right? That's why it's so important to have guy friends that understand where the hell you're coming from versus going to your girl with it. Because a lot of times she ain't going to be able to understand it. And she might take it the wrong way. She might. T- yeah, you, she never, might take- you never know. You, you never can know. handle it, but she might not. Well, yeah. Yeah. And a lot of times, I can't tell you how many times we brought girls on this show. Yeah, I, I told them to open up to me. I told them to be vulnerable, whatever. The first time she sees them fucking cry, changes. I don't oh know. Oh, my no, God. Yeah, I, I don't know. I why. can't yeah. handle this. What the fuck? What? Because, it's, like, it's what? crazy to me. normal what? for the human brain, like, the way it's chemically, like, wired to not be attracted to people that aren't confident. Like, we're mm-hmm. all attracted to people that are confident and, like, have a lot going Correction, for them. women aren't attracted to people that aren't confident men don't care about that yes they do no we don't no no, we don't again see uh, ladies 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 this is a perfect example of what i mean when i say women don't understand men at fucking all i'm telling you that men don't care about that yet you want to argue with me like i'm literally telling you in general, do men don't care about a woman's pull. confidence. You care about a man's I confidence. Like yeah, I, I do agree with that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I agree with that. Why is it that, like, we're telling you, in general, men yeah. don't really care about a girl's confidence like that? We tell you. They, we don't. And you guys don't like that answer. It's the truth. Attraction is not symmetrical. You want a guy that's taller than you. You want a guy that makes more money than you. You want a guy that's stronger than you. We want a girl that's typically shorter than us, weaker than us. We don't care about her ambition. We don't care about her confidence. You look for those things. So Why does that women think that what you like is what we like? Okay. We're different. So I guess so there's a give and take. Y'all yeah, like insecure women. It's just standards. Well, wait, 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 wait. God wait. damn. I wouldn't I think like my... How do you come to that conclusion? Yeah, how do you come to that conclusion? I, I, I do how do you come to that conclusion? I do think men care about confidence. Bro. No. Do we if agree? she's not confident, she's insecure. I just, I do think was the opposite it's like you want to be with a girl that's pretty you want to be with a girl that's popular you want to be with a girl no, that's no, i do no, think no. there's right? resistance no. from men to want to be with a girl that's confident. down for you i think they're so, agreeing wait i have a question so would you say that for the average man <laughs> that they're not going for the most confident women in the room yeah they're definitely no, no. confidence is one of smash yeah, they're definitely not. <laughs> so this is so simple, this is right? incredible yeah. 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 this is incredible yeah. guys yeah. 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 guys stop the show stop the show y'all think i'm kidding around when i say women don't know what men want here you go. Exhibit yeah. okay. A, guys. Really? Women really don't know what men want. They think, I want this, so a guy should want it too. No. <laughs> no. no. Say something. So, so well, the reason... You know what? This... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, let me finish. Go ahead. The, the reason I pointed out is because she, a, a confident person would stand out in a room. So that's why I said, would you not notice that person first and then gravitate towards... No. Here's the thing. For a man... Here, here's the yeah, thing. More work. Oh, God. <laughs> go ahead. For women... A man that's confident stands out. Mm-hmm. So he, co- you go into the room, he stands out because he's confident. Other people look to him. Mm-hmm. He's a leader of men. He's attractive. He has social proof. Oh, I he stands know. out in a room. You think guys go in there and say, oh, she's confident. She stands out. No, we're looking at the most attractive girl. She cannot say a fucking word. Exactly. We don't care if 
uh, about but her confidence. confidence. No, it's not. No, it's not. She's just standing there. Yeah, if you don't care about what anyone thinks, well, like, then it's confidence. It's kind of hard to know that's how they're perceiving her. No, that's not confidence. Are you on the same podcast right now? The the man doesn't care. Okay. If you got big big face, please 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 pay attention. The man doesn't care because the man walks in. She's attractive. I don't need other people to tell me she's attractive. I just like her. Women, though, how on, on the other hand, I walk in the room. He's confident. People are listening to him. He's ambitious. Who is that? Oh, my God. It looks like he's a leader of men. That's Who true. is this guy? Women mm-hmm. care about that dumb That's shit. True, we yeah. don't care. Men don't care about clout. Men don't care about status. Money. They don't care about nothing. A girl could work at McDonald's. Whoa. If she's attractive, mm-hmm. we will ask her on a date. Did you just say men don't care about clout? That's a damn lie. We don't. I think oh, it hell we no. don't. Some men do. It is just... damn near 70% of men I out here now that care, care about clout. Okay, uh, okay, uh, I guarantee you men that care about clout are men that you, you don't actually want. I'm t- I guarantee you. I don't so. want them. They're lame as hell. That, 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 that's <laughs> Thank you. You don't Thank want you. them. The but men, let me, let me, let, men, the men that you want, the men that have money, the men that have status, the men that have some uh, like uh, power, those guys don't care about a woman's status, income, money. clout, none of that stuff. Women care about that. We don't. I'll be. We got two multimillionaires right now that are lit on Instagram. All that shit. I don't want a chick that's lit at all. Opposite. At all. I don't want nobody to know who my girl is. Men okay. are men and women are not the same. Yeah. Women want a guy that's out there and in charge. Men want a girl that's behind the scenes that nobody fucking knows, bro. Yep. That's how it is. The saying, if it's been going around for decades. Women are to be seen and not heard. That's how men want their girl. You know that sounds sexist, but that's the truth. And what they won't tell you to your face. I feel like at all. So. What about financially? Like, do you? We don't care about a woman's money at all. At all. Okay. Really. All right. Think that's about great. it. Which is your why money, we your feel money. the way we do. My money right? is your money and my money. So if your money doesn't mean shit to me because you don't really spend the money on me. You might buy a gift here and there. But I got to pay the bills for the most part. So we don't really care about your money. Question for you. Uh, Let's say you went on a date with a guy and he told you, yo, I got this extensive Jordan collection and I got a bunch of Gucci bags and some Louis Vuitton kicks, etc. Look at my wardrobe. He shows you pictures of his wardrobe. What would you say? Uh, it's a turn off, no? Oh, well, okay. no, I'm asking her. Um, I'm going to be like, Oh, cool, lit. Okay. You want to you give a shit, right? You'd be indifferent? I'm going to be like, all right, that's a nice collection. Yeah. Okay. All right, fantastic. That's exactly how men feel about girls that make money. It's cool, but yeah. we don't care. It's lit. That same, like, I don't give that's a fuck nice that you have know. a nice closet, right? Yeah. You want to know why? Let's peel the layer back. Why is it that you don't care that he has a nice closet and a nice wardrobe? It doesn't benefit you. Okay, you're you're attractive and you got shoes. Fantastic. This doesn't benefit me. That's how men feel about women that have money. Cool, you got money, but this doesn't benefit me. Right. And if anything, girls that earn money, they're not going to have time to spend with you like that. They're going to be focused on the making money, the bag, etc. Yeah. And I'll keep it all the way a thousand with y'all. Women that are successful and make a lot of money tend to have certain habits that I don't like. They tend to be more masculine. Facts. They tend to be more competitive. They tend to be more ambitious and go-getter. I don't oh, want that shit. I love that. Period. That's, actually very That's true. me. I don't want to date that. myself. Why? <laughs> Why? So you don't prefer Why? someone who's, who's not so you do care about her money, though. Really? Hold on. What is that you said? You would prefer someone that's not bringing anything to the table financially. Oh, God. Uh, well, bring, I don't care about it. Okay. Like, so, like if she brings her own money, fantastic. But that's not going to say like, man, she made 100K this year. My dick, dick is hard. hard. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. men don't care about that stuff. Like, it's great if you make your own money for you, but that doesn't so benefit what, me. So what do men care? I would just love to know from your opinion. I what feel you like. Care about. Uh, uh, that, we'll to get to anything. that. Go ahead. Sure. Go ahead. I feel like men like to have a woman that everyone wants. Right? Would you guys disagree or agree? Like, you're attractive. Uh, you're cute. Like other guys want you. The male male gaze. Yeah, it's, it's like gaze. it's like I win. I got yeah, her. I bagged her. Like yeah, that's it's my male game. No, they want to smash. That's a yeah. 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 That's just the way it is. Like men and women are very different. Girls want a guy that's lit, that's been out there. Everybody knows who he is. Maybe he's had sex with a couple girls. You say that, but that's fine. But but when men, men don't want that to wipe up. Remember, ladies, there's two different categories here. There's the sex zone. Mm -hmm. Then there's the relationship zone. The problem is that most girls think I'm in the sex zone, which means I'm also in the relationship zone. No, you're not. (laughs) You are just in the sex zone, just like a guy that's in a friend zone only. A lot of girls are in the friends, uh, the sex zone only. Mm -hmm. It works the other way around as well. That guy that hits you up at 2 a.m. or the dude that won't commit or the guy that won't give you the fucking title, you're in the sex zone only. You probably did some shit that pissed him off that made him realize this girl's not wifey material. I'm not taking her serious. Even if he likes you, he ain't going to wife you up because he doesn't want to walk into a party and be embarrassed and have everyb
because yeah, no guy a wants a girl time. that's easy. Right. Well, I just don't think he wants her to have such a mouth on her that she'll like make him look like shit in front of people. Yeah. It's like a guy it's not even wants a mouth. to have. It's not well, I think, I guess, I think it's, if she's been ran through, everyone's gonna laugh him when he walks in the room. A guy wants to have someone that's hard to get. Oh. No, okay. They want to feel like they're winning. Like they had mm-hmm. to like accomplish that. Like they had to work for it. You know. For me, my definition of confidence Man, for a I woman think, is I not. Like, sorry, I just want to say this because I feel like I came sure. off wrong. But for confidence, it doesn't always mean being like the most like talkative person in the room. It's just you are in, you go somewhere and you go somewhere and you know who you are and you're confident no matter like no matter what happens and it doesn't always mean you're like the most like popular person in the room but you're fine with yourself and that's kind of what i do so that's a convenient definition change okay <laughs> that's what okay. I said. Yeah. So, okay i have a question for, for ladies right did anyone else have anything before we switch to this because i want to make sure everybody gets their their point out does that make sense that men don't care about money with a girl yeah. So yeah, yes, I, I agree. agree. But, yeah, I agree. Well, oh, I have a question because you said if she makes enough money, she's mm-hmm. too masculine, she's competitive. Yeah, you don't want to deal with that. So What's doesn't that? that mean that you care about money? No, 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 no. Okay. What I said was I typically don't date women that make a lot of money because it because it tends to come with bad habits that I'm not attracted to. And what I mean by that is you can't make a lot of money and not be a go getter. You can't make a lot of money and not be competitive. You can't make a lot of money and not work long hours. OK, yeah. making a lot of money comes with certain unalienable traits. Mm-hmm. OK, and I make a good amount of money. I don't want to date myself. So why would I want to date a girl that acts like I do? Yeah. That's not yeah. a yeah. Yeah. I agree. How about this? Just so you guys understand where I'm coming from here. Let's say I walked up to you in the club and I I'm, I'm exactly what you like. I don't know. Maybe you're triggered at this point, but let's say I'm your exact <laughs> type. Right. I walk up to you like, oh, shit, he's walking up to me. He's fucking hot. Oh, shit. Yeah. I can't wait for him to talk to me. And I go up to you and I'm like. Oh my God, I love your shoes. You're fucking gorgeous. I love it. Right? And I'm like, oh my God, you're on fleek, blah, blah, blah. Right? And I, I meet all the metrics, right? I, I'm, I look like that fucking guy. Right? Oh my God, I'd love to go shop with you. I want to get these heels. Would you go on a date with me? Yes or no? I wouldn't. You? I'm vulnerable to you. I'm telling you my real side. <laughs> Extremes. <laughs> that, 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 Extremes. <laughs> Extremes. I don't know. I can't say no. Oh my yeah. God. Nope. What about no. you? No. Nope. <laughs> Well, are you going to throw the hands like your shoes are so yes. nice? Uh, no. no. Nope. Egypt? No. Nope. Let's go shopping. Okay, yeah. so my, you won't you you smash me, though. No. So no. Yeah. Yeah, you can smash my homie. All right, cool. What about you? <laughs> it just depends, like, what's the vibe. Yeah, that's like, a no. Nope. What about you? No, that's way too much. Nope. I mean, I wouldn't date somebody I'm that confident, came up though. to me in a club. So no. no. Yeah. I'm confident, though. No? Okay. No. Nope. So, so you guys are totally cool with turning down a guy that acts like a girl. Why is it not okay for me to turn down a girl that acts like a dude? Because gotcha, he's making bitch. money. Doesn't mean you're you're making so rich. No, 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 no. Make so rich. Let's, let's make no mistake about it. Being a go-getter, making money, all these other things. Doesn't these are traditionally masculine traits. But you articulated uh, in such a specific manner. Like, what if she's just go-getter in her money? So and what if she's submissive? She's there we go. What if she's submissive but gets money? You know what? That's a great argument. You know what? And you know what? I'm a smart fucking retard. No, it doesn't. Make sense. What do you mean? And you cannot be. Twitch. Yeah, and they Twitch. just like to be the best. No, it's it's can't, the thing. you can't. YouTube guys. Here's the thing, you ladies, got to understand. You cannot be dominant, assertive, aggressive, making money, and a fucking go getter, and simultaneously be submissive. I it disagree. doesn't. Yes, duality. Yes, no, 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 Fantastic. Yeah. I wear a dress on Saturdays. I wear heels on Mondays, but okay, Tuesday, style, on, love Tuesday it. through Friday, I wear jeans and I'm super masculine. Are you oh dating me? No. Uh, Listen. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wear heels on Saturdays. A dress on Sundays wow. and heels on Mondays, but I'm a guy. I'm a guy throughout the week. Are you going to date me? Yes or no? Yes, different. Yes or no? Yes or no? Very different. I just want to Yes or no? Not the same. Personality-wise, raise a hand. Who's going to date me? Not the same. Stop. Raise your hands. It's not the same. Raise your hands. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's just extreme. So no one, no one would date me for being a guy sometimes and being a girl sometimes. So in the LGBT community. Fantastic. Now here's the thing. I'm just using her guys the same logic. I'm submissive sometimes and I'm also masculine sometimes. Why the hell should a guy accept a girl that is sometimes submissive, sometimes masculine, when I could just go find a girl that's submissive all the time? I don't get but, it though. Why, why, like, why making money what, like, make you manly? Yeah, and why, why do you want someone to make you manly? You? Why, don't why, you why? want a driven girl that's submissive that. at home? I understand. Yeah, money, right? you, know, you, know, I don't get that. you know what? This is funny. 
We're sorry. telling you what guys want. But you're fighting it so hard. Like, you should want this. You should want that. <laughs> Why am I right? Bro, okay. Okay. Yeah. You don't argue with it. If you're a guy for girls, not listen. 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 Because listen. I think it's, I think it's just the definition that we're confused at, right? Because you're saying that. I'm confused. It's because you're saying, can't you not, can you not be motivated financially and be masculine at your job right like i feel like i can be a little masculine at my job i have to like yo she doesn't exist like yo, <laughs> listen, in the yo, no, that's a lot here's the thing when you're, a, when you're a go-getter you think about work all the time when you are somebody that's really like focused and driven you think about work all the time you think about making money all the time your mind is always racing when you're a type personality you can't turn it off. off. Yeah. That's, That's what I'm trying so to tell you. Yeah. When, yeah. You're yeah. when you're yeah. anti yeah. personality, yeah. you're extremely competitive. I'm it's very difficult for you to turn it off. And that masculine energy is going mm. to come home with you. Okay. Mm. So all I'm I saying is that, that even if you're submissive every now and then, let's say uh, three days a week, you're submissive four days a week, right? When you're not working, it doesn't matter. You're still masculine other parts of the day. That's like me saying, I wear heels on Saturdays, but it's okay. I'm a guy Monday through Friday. You guys would not accept me. So why is it that a lady can act like a guy some days of the week and we're supposed to accept that, but you would never no. accept me if I acted like a lady a, a part of the week. Everything That's what I'm trying to say. Y'all don't like double standards, money, standards when they don't benefit you. It's just no. situational. You had a point? I do. Sure. I just want to give a quick little tidbit on my personal experience. I am oh, a God. daughter raised by a man. Like, literally, I was raised by my dad. The first six, seven, eight years of my life, it was just us. And I seen this man be strong, take care of home, take care of family members outside of our home. And then he met my stepmom. And even before he met her, like, just dealing with me, I got to see vulnerable sides. There was times when he couldn't do my hair and I would come home and say the kids made fun of me and he would cry to me. But I also seen him take care of home. So it can, it, it, it doesn't have time. to be either or. I've actually seen a That's man- That's your father though. Be, I'm, in, it's so human. are you saying only one person exists like that? No, I'm saying human. that's your father. Yes. So therefore you're you're his daughter. You're you're not you don't I mean unless it's a weird relationship. With a woman. You're, you're not trying to like y'all are not building okay, attraction so, with each other. So it's, so I'm going a, on to a, when he a met mother my and daughter, stepmom. Um, a, a parent's relationship with their child is the closest you're ever gonna come to unconditional love. So that's not a good example. Okay, so, so she I saw said, like very human. But then I said again, I'm gonna go to the point where he met my stepmom. Okay. And it was the same thing. And mind you, you're right. I completely agree with you. He didn't care about the money she was making. He didn't care about her status or anything. Mm -hmm. It was something she cared about. So he helped her get it uh -huh. because that's because that's what made her happy. He wanted to make her happy. He, you know, always were a family. It was. He just was always the strong person, and he didn't get into because what I can say, my baby, my dad got three baby mamas. And all of them are the same. They're very high, strong women. They're very confident women. They're very smart women. Where are you going with this? I'm going with that a man, even though that may be not what he initially is attracted to, mm -hmm. money, status, and all of that, if that's what he wants, he's not going to let that intimidate her. Also, I know that in my experience that a man can be the head of the household, he can be strong. And just because his partner Land is the also the same way. Land the plane. Yeah, we don't really know what your point is. What are trying to say here? Yeah. So, okay, Basically, all, I'm saying, all I'm saying is that it doesn't have to be either or. There can be a duality at it. And that just because a woman is also ambitious and strong mm -hmm. and wants to make her money, it doesn't take away from what he is. Okay. I witnessed it with my own eyes and my own we household. Never, we never said that, though. And that was has, never part of the argument whatsoever. But you're whatsoever. making it seem like so, just because a man is, he may get vulnerable, or whatever that that means, he's acting like a woman. No, it does not. That was a past debate. Where, where were you three, at? The past debate? I've been trying to talk for the past ten minutes. I've been letting everybody else talk, but that's I had to get okay, that out. Okay, so you're talking about the vulnerable thing again. Yes, because I mean, it's like, can if it's okay for me to be a woman and a man too, you're not being a woman and a man too. If you found someone that you know that can take you being strong and weak whenever okay you know what let me, let me be the asshole here how old was your stepmom when your dad met her so my stepmom was 21 and he was 30. okay what did he do for work he was actually he had his own trucking company and okay. shortly after and they met he became she at the time was a dispatcher for the truck. So he made significantly he more with. money than she did yes that's i said that already okay so he was able to provide security yes 
So he showed some vulnerability, but he still paid the bills and took care of her. Yes. That's okay. why I said there's a duality at it. He can be strong and also if he's And he cried in front of your stepmom? Yes. And she didn't go nowhere? No. They've been married for twenty six years Congrats. now. Congrats. Your stepmom is the is is potentially an exception to the rule. But the thing is also you gotta keep in mind is that he made significantly more money than her. So it's like, yo, this guy but, is providing for me here. Okay, this is a little bit of a turnoff, but I'm just gonna accept it. But like, that's what we said earlier. But exceptions don't I, make the rule, ladies. Exceptions don't make the rule. Makes, I'm just saying that there is an exception. Yeah. And he did not allow this. Bruh. To this day, they make the okay. same amount of money but because see, he helped her get there. Because that was it's an what example. she wanted to do. This happened. His problem. Our generation nowadays isn't even for anything. You know, you're not clean. You're not providing. It could be anything. That might be in the past generation, but nowadays, bro, I'm telling you right, right. now, girls ain't staying. We need to have and some I, and foundational. I okay, hold on, so stop, stop, stop. Because you literally just wasted three minutes here to explain an exception to a rule, ladies. Okay, when you have a discussion and you're talking about your art, trying to argue facts, we go off of the generalities. We go off of the majority. We don't give a fuck about your personal experience. We don't give a fuck about somebody you know. We don't care about the exception to the rule. We're talking about general. So when we say something, you cannot point it to yourself and say, well, wait, hold on, wait, I know somebody. Fantastic. You know exception to the rule. But what I'm saying is we operate in generalities and reality for most people. Exceptions don't make the rule. I am telling you that if I line up 100 women, they would prefer their guy to not sit there and cry in front of them and be vulnerable. Okay? The 10 ladies that might accept it, fantastic. But that's an exception to the rule. Most women don't like weak men. This is biologically driven inside women to look for men that are stronger than themselves. That's why I asked that question at the beginning of the show. How many of you want a man that's taller than you, stronger than you, makes more money than you, etc.? Almost all of you raise your hands universally when it came to these traits that make a man superior to you. So you can say whatever you want. I don't care. I know how women think in general and what they're hardwired to want. Exceptions don't make the rule, ladies. You cannot make an argument for an exception. Please don't stop the show to make an argument for the exception. It's extremely stupid and the chat gets mad. Fair? I agree. Your stepmom is exception. Fantastic. Do awesome. you have anything to that? Kudos to her because she has made me the exception as well. All right. Oh. Okay. Fantastic. Do you have something? Go ahead. Okay. Um, so what I was going to say was my mom, uh, not trying to like bounce off, oh, my experiences, Speaking but my home. mom has taught me you are who you surround yourself with, right? Mm -hmm. So whoever you hang out with, your group of friends is who you're going to turn into. So if you marry a strong guy, a guy that has a lot of money, that's what you're going to turn into. That's what you look up to. That's what you see every day. That's, you know, like you like look forward to that. You wake up every day, you hang out with him every day. So with that being said, like, obviously we want, we want someone that's better than us so we can be better. <laughs> I mean, like, who's to say, like, maybe, like, maybe I could be lesbian. Like, maybe I want a girl that's Here's the difference, though. You're missing the biggest point My here. My friends could be your better guy, than me. Your guy, you're missing the biggest point here. The guy got with you, he doesn't care if you improve or you don't. He likes you for you the way you are now. So if you decide, I want to be an entrepreneur now, whatever, fantastic. But you didn't have to do that to get him. That's right. Honestly, said that. So I've what does it? To, I agree with everything him. you're saying. Like, like, that's why I'm quiet. Yeah, it's too. like, like no, I do too. The honestly. industry that I'm in, like, I totally agree with everything that you're saying. You can I'm see single, it. like, and I, I'm, I'm a dancer. In and, general, oh my yeah. God. Go ahead, go ahead, Nikki. Yeah, see, the, I've noticed that th these two have been agreeing with what I'm saying. You want to know why? Because you guys see men oh. and they're honest with you, and they tell you what, what? the hell's going on when yeah, they're there. Yeah. The difference with y'all is that guys tell you guys comforting lies. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's nope. fantastic that you have this career. Oh, really? Mm. I love your confidence and your Go ambitions. Queen. Men don't give a fuck oh, about God none of that shit, bro. <laughs> they don't. I'm telling you, they really don't. They tell you this because women have strong egos. And the thing is this. If you say, I'm, a, I'm an entrepreneur. I run bitches and bottles. Or I am an influencer. Or I'm confident and ambitious. Or I'm a former military. Hey, they're going to sit there. Okay? Absorb that. Let me regurgitate what's going to make her interested. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, they're they're going to go ahead and regurgitate whatever you said that you did to go ahead and make you feel better about what you do. Guys are going to sit there and be like, oh, you're an entrepreneur? Ah, oh, man, I don't really care about that. They're going to say, oh, that's really awesome. Wow. They're going to say whatever it takes to get laid. They yeah. tell you what you want to yeah. hear. Okay. So knowing general... that, you got two guys right now that don't don't have any vested interest in fucking you. We're telling you what guys want. And you guys are sitting there saying, well, I don't agree with that. I think you should like this. We well, you know what? If we're going to have that dumbass conversation, you guys should like a guy for how much money he makes. Facts. You should like him for his heart. See how dumb I sound? Yeah, you see how sure. dumb I sound it's right now? Because okay. we're so used <laughs> to the male generation. We get it. So in general, <laughs> you told us what a man doesn't want. What do they want from women then? I would love mm. to know. You yeah, want to hit it fresh? I've been talking a lot. All right. Um, 
but uh, just to add to your point, so it's funny because we tell you what men want, and whatever you guys want, we don't we don't argue. We're like, you know what? We accept. You want the guy that's tall, has money, get it. Cool. I'm curious. I'm but curious. <laughs> okay, to answer your question, we're gonna what, what men actually want. So simply put, men want peace of mind, mm-hmm. attractive, submissive, mm-hmm. and at the same time, not a hoe. If you can do those four things, I guarantee you, you got, and you got feminine in front of him. So you know what? She's different. She stands out. Cool. I'm going to see what's up. Men are very simple. Yeah. Women over overcomplicated. And I think the other thing, too, is that girls like the reason why women think it's complicated is because they think what they want in a guy is what guys want in a girl, yeah. which is completely different. Like men are not nearly as selective as women are. And here's the bonus. If the guy you meet, you actually are into, and you add value to, to his life. Let, let's say, for example, his business, right? And Saturdays, he needs somebody to help him with the business. You say, you know what, yeah. babe, I got you. I'll help you work on Saturdays. I got your back. Guess what? You're adding value to his life. So damn, you know what? Susie, I just, I'm just smashing. It's fun, but there's no value. And I can smash it whenever I'll, I'll let her go. It goes adding value. Damn. She's actually cool. Adds value to my life. I'm going to keep her around. I think the biggest mistake girls make is they think that sex is enough. Yeah, they, they need a, you need to provide value outside of sex. At yeah. least for if it's a guy that has option, is a winner. Yeah. So value with time. But you said they don't care about. I feel like sex is the biggest turnoff. Well, well see, that's the problem. See, you um, automatically wait. conflated value with monetary, and I'm saying value is what do you add to that guy's life that is of benefit. It doesn't have to be money. If the guy's an entrepreneur and makes a bunch of money already, well, he already has that. How are you going to go ahead and make his life simpler? Every guy is different. This is where the woman has to come in and use her female intuition, figure out what the weak points are in this guy's life. Maybe his apartment is always dirty, or maybe mm-hmm. his files aren't mm-hmm. fucking organized, yeah. or maybe he really likes a coffee when he wakes up before he goes to the gym, or maybe he likes a shake when he comes back, etc. It's your job as the woman to use that social calibration, because women are blessed with more social calibration than guys are, to go ahead and figure out what's the weak point in this guy's life, can I come in and enhance that? The thing is, is that girls think, okay, I'm going to act like a dude, I'm going to provide the same thing a dude wants, to a fucking dude and think that dude is going to like me for being a dude. <laughs> and the answer is, unless he's gay, the answer is probably going to be like, no, True. thank you. That's a big, I'm going to move on to another girl. He'll have sex with you, put you in a sex only category, move on to a girl that's going to do what I said on the former. Prior. Okay. Which is come in, find the weak point, add value to my life in that weak point, and then go ahead and make my life easier and make it uh, and benefit me in that way. But the issue is that a lot of girls think I'm going to bring money to the table. I mean, if it's a dude that has money, it, you ain't doing shit. <laughs> and if it is a guy that cares about your money, nine out of ten times, y'all don't like him anyway. You know, let's be honest. You don't want to go on a date with a guy that says, oh, let's, uh, you know, do 50-50 on this. I'm a feminist. I believe in equality. Y'all don't want that motherfucker. I have a question. Wait, hold on. Did I ask your question or yes, you, you thank want some you. more? Yeah, cool. 100%. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you said that f- the woman that you want to keep in your life it has these traits of submission, uh, peacefulness, cooperativeness, right? Mm-hmm. But that also men should have the open end of relationships. Yes. And women should be closed. Yes. Um, do you disagree? If they were to do open relationship, that's the way it's got to be. Oh, only if they agree? If they, yeah, if they, if, I mean, well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Here's the thing. Most guys aren't going to tell you they're going to fuck other girls. That's why I said that definitely to her before, not. just yeah, to, to get the shock not. value. Because most girls can't accept the truth, but they're going to do it anyway a lot of times. Yep. Yeah, because my. I feel like we all know, though. Yeah. Like we all do you know. really? I definitely yeah, do. I mean, it depends I don't trust any guy. Really? The guy you're with right now, you think you Wait, smash another girl? I mean, honestly, sometimes I second guess it for sure. That nigga smashing, bro. That nigga smashing, bro. I don't go trust ahead. anybody. Back to what she was saying. Go ahead. I was just saying that. Well, you kind of changed the question when you added that variable, but um, if you are doing that, do you not feel that it's traumatizing your quote main woman? Well, we tell guys to be honest about it. But the problem is that most guys don't have the value to tell their girl straight in the face, I'm going to have sex with other girls. Most guys got their girl by the skin of their teeth. Yep. So they can't, like, a lot of girls are going to feel insulted. Wait, you barely got me and you're a bum and you're going to cheat on me? Fuck mm. you. So most guys can't do that. Okay, so if it's a high-value male, yeah, it you think the woman will, like, receive it better? Yes, I mean, she doesn't have a choice at that point. The man has all the leverage. When you're with a guy that's a winner, you have no leverage as a woman. That's another thing I think that's a hard pill for a lot of women to swallow. You want to be with a guy that's successful, that's lit, and and you want to try to... You, you, wait, hold on. Let me get this straight. He okay. makes more money than you. He's more clouded than you. He has... Uh, he's successful, ambitious, confident, stronger than you, etc. And you still, want him to treat you like an equal? So you think <laughs> he, he has still more chose options. Her. What was that? He still chose her. But not for the same reason she chose him. Yeah, That's fine, but he... Right. So he's the one that's at a higher level. So yeah. he's the one with the power. Yes. He still chose. And that's her. what women want. 
that's fine. You made the mistake. Here's the thing. You didn't realize why she chose why why he chose her, why she chose him. She chose him because he's superior. He chose her because she added value in some kind of way. That has nothing to do with her status or superiority. That's the okay. difference. So my thing is, I look at it like if you want to date a winner, you're going to have to share him. And I think a lot of girls don't understand this. Share him? Why share? Like, I'm not sure. Because you're not anybody. fucking special. That's why. That's the truth. You're not special. Look around this table. Sorry. Everyone at this table but, is attractive. Hold on. Everyone at this table is attractive. You go around Miami, all the girls are attractive. There's a girl that's younger, firmer, more fit than you, that's more attractive than you. 18. You got a guy that has options, he's going to enact on that. So when a guy hit ground zero, who going to be there? There's a difference in women. That's so when he hits ground say. zero, who's still going to be there for that guy? That's, why that's what, what makes true. a woman you different. Yeah. Don't say you want because I'm definitely somebody, no. people that personally know me, know I'm going to ride with you till those wheels fall off. No, all same. four of them. Oh, okay, who said that? <laughs> that's a lie. Yeah, that's you personally oh, but, know me. But what you just him, described is the main girl, and that's why she's the main girl. Okay. And yeah, the other girls like, get dick, but the other girls don't say. like. Girls don't like that. Oh, you fucking all these other get. Shut up! You're the main girl. Relax. Okay, so I, I guess that's what? how it goes. I think if girls is understand that how you what guys really want, and you understand oh, how to please him, yeah, let me you win know. because, for example, you you think you know what men want, but you don't, and as a result, you do things that are like contradictory to what you want. And he's like, damn, you know what? She's cool and all, but she don't she don't really know what I want. So I'll smash, have fun with it, and it's just it. Sounds so, like a shitty question. Okay. Yeah, like, now, going back to your thing, with, this is like, somebody has something? Go ahead. I don't want to. I feel like a guy merch. wants something special, a connection. Like, like honestly, all girls can be pretty. All girls are low-key the same. Like, we all, like, oh, I like to uh, shop. I like to get my nails done. Like, we're all the same. Like, I feel you. like guys want a girl that's, like, there for them and can, like, be, like, themselves with them. Like, they can be vulnerable. That's literally the word. Vulnerable. <laughs> Right? No. Is that wrong? Um, I feel well, like guys want to find someone no to be right vulnerable. Or no. He was saying that she guys was doing don't okay get vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, we got, we got, we got past like, the vulnerable part already. Yeah. 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 All, yeah. Right, I mean, all right. All right. I think the the lesson here, ladies, is like once yeah. you understand okay. you're into this guy, find out what he really wants. And that means, for example, saying, you know what? Take away what I think he wants. Find out what he wants, and it add value. Because what happens is, you meet a guy, you like his vibe, whatever. You smash a couple times, and you're like, damn. He's gonna wipe me up. No, how do you add value to his life? As, uh, unless, for example, you find a guy, right? Is this a and ladies' you, dating podcast now? It's for like for men to become better, but women can learn as well. Because I'm just kidding. It just sounds. If you like take it in, though, like it could help you a lot. I'm just saying, like when you when you find that guy, add value and then take it from there. Well, no one tells the women the truth at all. Yeah. When it comes to right. if you look at Oprah and these mainstream dating shows, they don't tell women none of this shit. Yeah. They tell them a guy should go there and be monogamous to them, and you're gonna find a guy that's a millionaire, that's six foot three with a sparkling smile, and he's only gonna have sex with you. Your knight in riding armor, you know, your knight in shining armor is gonna come and save you. That's not the way the world works. If there's not enough of these men to go around, okay. So since yeah. there's not enough of these men to go around, what's gonna happen? You're gonna end up sharing him, whether you like it or not. So it's you you're know saying every time you're just generalizing again. Okay, if is I take a, a guy, it, here's the thing. I'm just trying to understand. If, yeah, if like, I take a guy that's extremely yeah. attractive, mm -hmm. okay, that's a somebody. successful. Ninety-five like, percent of the time, you're gonna have to share him. Ninety-five percent. Of the time. Okay, well, someone's being I, more real. I'm Thank you. Stay in the five. No, I, I think. No, go ahead, say it. No, no, go ahead. I've, I've, break it down I've a been bit. in situations. You oh, I'm telling you. Can yeah, go ahead. You a lot of you guys are like normal right i'm not normal like i i know men and men all cheat oh, all of them and I it's okay it's okay agreeing. it's okay because no what this is we only got one life to live and i i always want my man to keep it real with me so i and i've been in situations do you feel like you know a specific type of man yeah, maybe it's like a specific. Yeah, no, it's all right. men. Guys. It's all, it's it's all so men. Even, even, guys. even if the guy says he loves yeah. you and he wants to be with you and whatever, <laughs> he's think gonna. Too. It's they like that excitement. It's it's just it's, the chase. it's always it's that's what men like. Like Fuck. it's not it's they not about like have. being. Are a, you? Would you say you're like that? Marin. Yeah. Would you say you would be that way? If you 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 has. You consider yourself you have all these qualifications. Would you handle a woman like that that you see marrying? Would, would I? What you mean? Would I have like multiple if you partners? See, like if you see yourself marrying this girl, would you handle it that way? Like would I have multiple women? Yes, hundred yes. percent. All yes. all it's men that are married cheat. Why? Why would you not? Because because what, 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 that's a piece what, of paper. Okay, well, then not, why? Not then marriage? why? Then why? That's the big question. Why? What do you not get out of yourself, out of the relationship that you need from that? You can't settle down with one person. Okay, I so think women need to like, realize too oh that um, you don't have ownership over a man. Like you, they have to realize it too. You just like you. Uh, yeah, that's a different. 
conversation. <laughs> um, but you can't put ownership on a man. You can't say, oh, mm -hmm. like, he's a he's person. Mine. Like, he's human. Like, you can't mm -hmm. say this is mine. Yeah. Wait, are and you, you yeah. can't? You're okay with the cheating? Yeah. What? Um. Who? <clears throat> Three I think I think I think it's gonna in most generally most of the time it's gonna happen and uh mm -hmm. you have to have that conversation. Yeah. Just don't let me. And find if you if you don't want to have that conversation, um, then you're living in mm -hmm. a lie to yourself, yeah. <laughs> and you need to come to realization and 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 understand what's really going on. That's a good point. Okay. That's a good point. Can you guys I get that? Answer a question. All right. Well, I gotta answer hers for yeah. the first. Okay. Um. Okay. So. I'll say for myself, then I'm going to speak for men in general. Yeah. I will not be monogamous. Dumbest thing would be as a man is monogamous because it's not true to your to your nature. Okay. Th here's the thing. If I marry a woman, right, and she gets the last name, she gets the title, that woman is effectively one at life. Why? Because women chase security from the best man that they can get. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if a girl gets that relationship and that stability and that security through me, she's got what she wanted, right? That's a woman's sexual strategy. Find the best guy, consolidate on that guy, have children and a family with that guy. I'm pretty sure all of you would prefer to have sex with one guy at a time versus having sex with multiple guys, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. You guys yeah. want stability. Yeah. Fair enough to say that women ch yeah. in general yeah. chase yes. monogamy. Yeah. Fantastic. If, but why is it that the female sexual strategy is more important than the male sexual strategy? The guy, I don't give a fuck who he is, mm -hmm. always wants to have sex with other girls. And if you don't believe me, why are motherfuckers watching porn? Why are guys going to strip clubs? Why are guys paying for OnlyFans? Because men want more variety keyword yeah. it's just variety like okay your pussy by yourself is never going to satisfy him i don't give a fuck how bad you think you are facts he's always facts. going to want other women the only difference between me and another motherfucker is i have the balls and the status to be able to tell a girl look her in the face and tell her i'm gonna have sex with other girls whether you like it or not mm -hmm. now oh, my thing is if the girl has a relationship and she has the security she won so why is it an issue if I go out there and have sex with other girls? It's not a big deal because men treat sex like taking a piss. Me having sex with other girls is not the same as you having sex with other guys. Are... That's why it's unacceptable when a girl's open and a man is open as well. The man could be open. The woman cannot because the woman has effectively gotten what she wanted in a relationship, but the man has not. No. What if you have a girl that's bisexual, though, that's open to a third party? Then what do you potentially do as over a man? My potentially, I would allow it under my supervision. What are you saying? <laughs> but you would still set myself outside of that. Right. You're saying, like, we're giving you what you want. We're saying that we're open to having another woman in a relationship. Would you still go beyond that to be with another woman? They if we're do. Open? I'm bisexual. I, they I'm do. open to it. No, like, because girls get emotional when you I have sex with another girl in front of her. I was the correct. fuck I know. That is not true. I, 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 what did I say at the top of the podcast? Okay, okay not that. general. Your, your own personal. Okay. Sorry, general. Right, you were going to say something? Go on back to what you are saying. I just, I mean, you say sex is different, right? The exchange, but yeah. scientifically, it's, it's a soul bond when you have sex nice. with someone. And you so can like you can you can feel as like resistant to that statement as you want, but there's so much energy and so much genetic info information that goes into sharing your body with someone that it's kind of like, don't you get depleted at some point? That's no. what, and that's yeah, like, how women are different than men. Yes, men and women are different. That's, that's all. People. Women release all far people. more oxytocin, which is a connection bond, when they have sex than men do. But men are so designed. Anatomically, you release the same amount of cells, skin particles, when you're having intercourse. It's not. It's not as simple. Men and women. As women men and women hormones. do not view sex the same. Men don't get the same level of attachment when it when it comes to having sex but with why a woman. It's a subconscious because thing. It's it happens without your control or without your awareness. Here's the thing. How many children can you bring to term per year? One. Okay. How many kids can I bring? Uh, can I help yeah, with get pregnant? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, that's very valid. simple biology, ladies. It's very simple biology. Well, honestly, you're still men, best old point hold, on, hold, on, hold on. Men are designed to procreate with as many women as they can. Okay. Nick, that's yes. why they bust nuts anatomically, all the time. Anatomically. Okay. Yes. What? Anatomically. No, no. Biologically. Yeah. It, it, anatomically. We're wired very so differently. Children. Men are wired for quantity. Women are wired for quality. That's mm -hmm. so. Exact, so it. with that said, okay, men don't view sex the same as women do. Women. I need the guy to make enough money. I need the guy to be cute. I need him to have all these traits. Women have like a whole laundry list of what they want in a man before they have sex with him to some degree. Even though even the biggest hoe still has way more standards than the most conservative of men. Okay. She's gonna still want it to at least be attractive or mm, tall enough but... or be able to spit some game or be charming or fucking, I don't know, like to do under ba underwater basket weaving. Some weird shit. Men just, men like, though, men just is she hot? Standards. Is she available? Men's standards are far less. Why is that? It all comes back why. to biology. I I know why. Well, yeah, I it's mean, because I don't think it's women carry children for what nine months. Oh, here we go. 
Guys, spit out cum. Sorry to say that. Spit it out. Okay, so women carry children for nine months. That's a whole baby inside your body, inside your stomach. Guys, they just bust a nut. They just That's what? How many sperm cells? I don't. Even, I couldn't even tell you. Probably millions. And they could do that, what, like every other day, every day? I don't know. Not even every five they minutes. Every guys minute. Minute. So, like, obviously, yeah. like, guys have more, like, I don't care. Like, I have this. Like, women are like, I carry a baby. Like, I have to support this baby. I need someone to help me support this. Guys are like, I could go fuck you, 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 you. Facts. And I'm fine. Like, the reproductive I process, I it's simple. The reproductive process is far more taxing on women than it is on men. So women have to be yes. very selective on who they fuck. Mm -hmm. Men exactly. don't. Mm -hmm. So we have to acknowledge these biological differences for us to effectively understand why men don't give a shit about sex and women do. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And so, also, there are soul ties, right? Still However, it here's is. the problem. You're getting penetrated. We're not. We're giving you the energy. So it's different when we have sex because it's a different dynamic. We get it. There's all ties. But men take it differently because we're penetrating you. So. And that's okay. why it affects women more. Yeah, exactly. Here's, here's my question because you guys are talking about babies. I just want to make sure pregnancy. she finished before you go. Oh, sorry. Go does that, and, if, that you don't have to agree with it, but does that answer, I guess, why men want sex with a lot of girls versus women don't? Because they produce more than women do. Simple. Yeah. So you guys are talking about um, babies. So if you had a daughter like a you guys oh, as a man Here we right go. So abortion. Is this? Oh, wait. <laughs> oh. oh, I thought the goal was children. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Are we still alive? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are we still alive? For now. Uh, so. Okay. Somebody said mahogany. <laughs> I said plan B. Yeah. So I said plan B. Plan B. Okay. You know what time it is? dollars CBS one. All right. Fantastic. Okay. You had something. Go ahead. Yeah, We're so if, if you you're fine, if you had a daughter, um, would you want your daughter to be with a man by your standards that you're saying are the they're going by these uh absolutely guidelines? Not. Absolutely, of course. What? And, and, absolutely, really? because if here's the thing, if Stop. he's taking care of her but fucking other people, that does that's irrelevant. My it's daughter so is my daughter is the one with the title, my mm -hmm. daughter's the one with the children, my daughter's the one with the house. I would tell her. Get your fucking ego aside. Understand that pussy is not that important. You're with a winner. Shut your fucking mouth and be happy that you're with a winner. This, is this guy's one percent. This, this is the truth. Is just sex. This is the truth. Right. Here's the problem. Here's the problem that we have right. in Western society in general. We put women on a pedestal. We tell them that they're special. We tell them that they that they can do no wrong. And Disney fairy tales. No, the reality is high value men are rare. Women are not. Beauty is common. High value is not. If my daughter is with a millionaire or a successful man that's taking care of her. OK, I'm going to tell her, shut your fucking mouth. <gasps> Be happy that you're with that guy. Mm -mm. You got the children. You got the no. kids. You got a bunch of hooks into him. You, you actually have that. the leverage, even though you don't know it. You, you can that. divorce him and take all the shit. Mm -hmm. OK, because mm -hmm. family court is in your favor. Shut your mouth and be happy. Shut up, he bitch. comes home to you. You are his wife. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, I would tell her, get this feminist propaganda out of your fucking mind. You are not the same. You are not equal. If you stay single and you go out there and you be a hoe, etc., and you wait till you're 31 to try to find a guy, it's going to be very, very unlikely that you're going to find the man that you want. Yeah. Okay? Cash in your chips while you're still young and you can get the best guy. Shut up. You got the last name in the house. If he decides to leave you, you can financially destroy him. But people lived by that back in the day and they didn't. I'll say so 1960, but it works. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what, are, you so what are you saying? People, people had that same same blueprint for approaching relationships back in the day and uh -huh. there's not as much success in relationships um, then. You're actually incorrect because here's the problem. The divorce laws have not updated with the exactly. times. Exactly. If a woman yeah. divorces a man nowadays, which is why women initiate 80% of divorces, by the way, mm -hmm. women are going to get not only get alimony, they're going to get child support, they're going to get 50% of that all the marital that things. They're going to get the house. Get a lot. That doesn't speak on like the the life Emotional. expectancy of relationships that started in the time period where that was the blueprint for relationships, right? Like the woman, the homemaker, the husband, the woman submissive, the man, the hierarchy. It's the worse woman. now, actually. It's worse now. It's worse now. It's terrible. Women, actually, women but, overwhelmingly what I, what initiate breakups and divorces. Relationships started off, sure, they started off strong in the, that era, but they're ending now. They're having divorces. They have issues. They, they Why do. is that? I bet. Please stop. No, no, hold on. Why is that? I'm saying that if they went by that blueprint and are still having the issues of divorce and are still getting divorced, then maybe that blueprint isn't. But they're not. Working. They're following the new system, which is, you know what? I have ego. He's cheating on my me. Grandparents, my grandparents, my mm grandparents. -hmm. So my grandmother, long, long story short, followed that same blueprint. And her and my grandfather made lots of money. She worked for his business. Mm -hmm. He employed her like 
she was the submissive. She added to his life. Yeah. And he just cheated all the time. Like your grandmother got, was he smart. Got, he exactly. got so bad. He got so bad that like he literally it was very abusive and she had to walk away because it was very physically and verbally abusive. And till this day, he regrets it. And He's now you're really here. old. Well, yeah. we don't condone hating women or being abusive. We're just saying, I'm just saying it, it was that blueprint of she she was exactly what you guys said. She was submissive. She didn't meet anyone. He screwed other people. She didn't care. Yeah. She allowed him to be the financial predator to be, you know, financial predator. Just what is the, a predator? Wait, what? Just, <laughs> <laughs> like just in all in all aspects of their relationship he was the here's superior. the thing there's two sides to every story and women tend to call guys abusers or toxic or whatever when they don't get their way or no, whatever he, he and we tend to scary. always believe women and not hear the guy side mm-hmm. so we don't know that's the thing we always believe women and we saw what happened with johnny depp and amber heard okay no, no, i don't believe yeah. all women at I mean, all well, no offense to your no, grandmother my grandfather told me he regrets it okay but did he but he said he regrets it but did he say i abused her and i hit her and yes, all this other he, stuff yeah he, he did well he owned up to that he wasn't a good husband he okay. regrets it because he, he's he... from that generation where it just follows exactly what you're speaking of and you're, it didn't i don't turn know if out you right. noticed but you just completely diverted the conversation the conversation is simply I would tell my daughter to accept this because you got the title, you got everything else. And if he, if you, you have the leverage because you can leave him and the divorce laws are still set in an era like with your grandmother, where mm-hmm. if you leave him, you're going to get half the money, alimony, child support, etc. Divorce destroys men, which mm-hmm. is why I was trying to ask you guys yeah, earlier. I was, yeah. say I was that, asking yeah. you guys earlier, yo, yeah, uh, what benefit do men get from marriage that they don't get in a relationship? The answer, ladies, is nothing. Okay, yeah. that's the magic answer. Mm-hmm. It is nothing because you can get all those same benefits being married, to, uh, being with a girl as your girlfriend versus being married. However, the woman gets a bunch of benefits. She can end the relationship at any time because of no fault divorce and get half the money, uh, alimony, child support, etc. And that man probably gonna lose the house and lose the kids. Facts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really? child support. You got a point, right? Or no? no? Yeah, somebody has some. I have a follow-up. Oh yeah, question. she had the follow-up question. I have Go a ahead. Great point. Yeah. Yes. Um. If so, did I don't want to? I'll just ask it. Okay. So. Did your mothers go through this? Did the fathers treat your mothers this way? And did you witness it? My parents are still together to this day. My dad never, like, he didn't have the money to have multiple wives. So, you know, he's with my mom to this day. And, you know, my mom was feminine. My dad was masculine. He provided, you know, uh, we had financial issues growing up. So, like, my mom entered the workforce, but then she brought her grandma to help out to Mm -hmm. raise us. So, you know, it is what it is. But they're they're immigrants. They didn't come speaking to United States, come to United States speaking English. So... I grew up in a two-parent household. My grandparents, um, they've been together for 74 years. And, you know, he took care of the household. He was a man of the household. And she was submissive. She understood that. He cheated, of course, like every man does. But she knew, you know what? Family's more important than my feelings. And you knew that so, as a child? Yeah. And she stayed. And because of that, we, we were raised in a good, a good family. But she left and said, you know what? Fuck this. I'm out. Because of her ego. Strong and independent. We would have been lost. So her staying, I helped the family. And she knows this. She took some burden on us. But, like, she understands her role and her duty. I think we lie to women okay. and tell them that they're special when in reality, when they're with a guy that's a winner, you're not special at all. Yeah. And you just need to like figure it out and make it work, especially if you have kids. Like women are way too willing to initiate divorce. And 80% of divorces, ladies, are initiated by women. Which is exactly Yo, what I was going to say. Not men. You know why I, don't, why I don't understand? A woman have a perfect guy, right? That's there for them, yeah. cares about them, will die for them, right? Yeah. Because he cheated. I'm gonna leave this nigga and find another nigga. <laughs> so guess what? He will cheat too. So it's like you're leaving a guy that's good to you. Put on the guy that might just, just shit on you. What's the point? Stupid. Here's my question. If like men don't like stupid. sex, you said, don't care about sex, my bad. Well, if, well I never said that. That's all the way. I said that. you said, like, <laughs> men, like, in... in Reference to uh, women always offer their pussy. To keep a guy, you gotta have more. You gotta no. You can swear. I said. I said you. I said to keep a guy, you have to offer more than just sex. Okay, but my question is like, what do men get out of it then? Um, like fucking so many different people. Pleasure. Um, we we get the same we get the same satisfaction that you Mm -hmm. get when you feel like you got the best guy. So when I fuck the same pussy, so ego boost, pleasure. No, 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 no. I just, I just, I literally gave the same example. Like, let's say you got your dream guy. Mm-hmm. Okay, Ego like, boost. like I got the best guy. That's how men feel when they can have sex with and actually fuck a bunch of girls. Oh my gosh, oh. you got so, a point, right? Like you get that security from that guy. Fantastic, you've so fulfilled what you want as a woman. That guy, he gets fulfilled by fucking a bunch of different girls. Like men and women are different. Like we're designed to spread our seed far and wide. You're designed to keep your egg for the best seed. And if he's giving you the seed, why are you yes. mad? And he can love you and yeah. still fuck yeah. somebody else. Well, he comes over to you. But didn't you say that your goal was to find the ideal woman? So yeah. why do you need to continue to be with other women? Because men have a sexual thirst that is insatiable from one lady. 
When what? do you reach a point mm-hmm. in your life to where, where you like genuinely done. want to settle down? And find you guys should bring my break or nothing. Never. Yo, you know what's funny? Yeah. Like we're, we're telling never. you guys. Like I never guys like want think. someone to care. Well, about no, no, you. she's actually genuinely inquisitive about it. Yeah, but, that I was mean, a good question. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, in general, so some of the ladies are disagreeing with what we're saying. We're like, oh well, okay, um, fair enough. You're, it, is it okay so, if I ask another question? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Her point was first. She was gonna say oh, something. I forgot my question at this point. Okay, go on. Go back. No, I remember. I'm kidding. So when in when does it end? Okay. <laughs> when in your point do you of life? The, yeah, your the point of life. End. When do you realize that you actually want to settle down and like find someone that actually cares about you? Yeah. Never. Like, never. never. I should, oh, but I, I, I should never. act like, like a man. A I should be like on this thing because I'm like not agreeing with any of you. Like I really agree with them. Well, mm-hmm. I would love to it's hear your like, point. Don't you want someone that loves you? And they cares never about you? stop. Cheating, no. and they'll be ninety eight, still fucking. Out of my life, yeah. 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 they don't care. They don't care if they have the best. The woman second you that's... cheat, they, they just leave. Think sex they is like care. I feel like sex is at the top of the pyramid for you guys. Mm. Well, yeah, I would love to hear your points. Is it right? Are, are these men? Where are you meeting these men? Everywhere. What do you mean? Like, all men are the same. Oh, you know, here's the thing. She's in a fantastic position English. because when you work. At the strip club, you get lawyers, mm-hmm. you get mm-hmm. doctors, husbands, you get drug yeah, dealers, you get, you get police people. officers, yeah. you get every demographic of man coming in there, yeah, and she still understand. comes to the same conclusion. Mm-hmm. So anything we're telling you, and then what she's validifying what we're saying because she's talking to men from all different demographics, which aligns with what we're telling you. Yeah, ninety plus percent of guys of our line of one hundred dudes from all different walks of life, uh-huh. different cultures, different backgrounds, different religions, different upbringing, socioeconomic status, etc. If they could have multiple women and get away with it and not have their current girl leave them, they would do so. The yeah. difference is, is that most men don't have the value yeah. to actually do it and pull it off. Yeah. Most guys okay. can't do it. So they lie. So mm-hmm. they lie so the- or they don't cheat for fear of losing their girl. But they mm-hmm. wish yeah. they could. Yeah. Again, sure. look at the pornography industry. The top websites in the world are porn sites. Yep. OnlyFans. Why is OnlyFans going crazy? It ain't bitches paying for OnlyFans. No, it's dudes. It's dudes. Why, do, sure. why do men go to the strip club and spend thousands of dollars? It ain't fucking girls doing that shit. It's dudes. And if it is a girl throwing money, it's a nigga's money. So, with that said, <laughs> men have an insatiable thirst for sex. There's an entire yes. economy that profits from it. So, does that mean that this cheating thing, right? The like open-endedness... I'll rephrase it. The open-endedness on the male side will never end. Um, you mean as in like them wanting to have sex with it, other girls? Yes, in yeah. a relationship. Never. It's almost never going to end. Yeah. It, because the thing is, is that... How old are you, by the way? You said you're how old? You're 20... 24. You're 24. When you were 19, was marriage even a thing to you? Um, I've always taken relationships very seriously. So, okay. yes. Okay, so you were... Okay, for the ladies out here, like uh, when you were 19, was did you even think about like getting married and settling down and having kids? No. 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 no, that's actually when I thought Honestly, about it the not most. Really. No, okay. How's a lesbian? Okay, fair <laughs> no. 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 no, no, no. To do it at that age? Yeah. No, no, right? Not at that. <laughs> not to do it at that age, but it was. It was in your mind, but not then, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's our generation. So you didn't want to settle down when you were at your peak, right? Mm-hmm. Your peak. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Are, oh, yeah. People so are men are at their peak when they're financially stable. Yes, a so woman's at her peak between men. 18 to about 24. Uh-uh, I disagree. <laughs> As a 33 year old woman, I disagree. Well, it's, 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 he's saying yeah. statistics. He's saying what statistics. is that with the 33? Okay, yeah. here's yeah, the thing. Here's the thing. Here's, you can say that, that you disagree, but the problem is that you're disagreeing with a fact. They pulled yeah. men between ages of 18 all the way up to the 60s, and the men oh, universally. Wanted girls that were between 18 to 24. Okay. So you can say you disagree, but that's like me saying I disagree with the sky being blue. I sound stupid doing it. So fact is a fact. It doesn't matter what you agree or disagree <laughs> with. Men universally find women the most attractive between 18 to 24. Yeah, Are there anomalies out there that could push the clock back yeah. and look good at 31? For sure. But in general, most men prefer women between 18 to 24. Yeah. So my question is this. You guys didn't want to settle down when you were at your peak, right? So why should yeah. a guy that's 35, 40, 45 settle down when he's at his peak? I want to attract the person. Hold on, answer the peak. please the question. Why? Can anyone answer why? So MILFs are a thing, clearly. For sex only. But, to fuck. Oh, really? I mean, <laughs> yes. oh, Jesus. Isn't, aren't you trying to... Sex sorry, only. To fuck. Or if you're emotionally like, unstable and you need like that mother figure. To, I no. Guess. We don't fuck them all up. Dude, really? <laughs> is it like aren't that? you... Yeah, you know what happens when guys have sex with a MILF? They're like, 
No, in the head. they have yes. sex and they go talk about it with their friends and say, mm -hmm. I fucking did it. Cool. It's a story yeah. and that's it. That's it. Oh. Uh, I think it's because they're more fertile when they're that age. Could it be something to do with fertility? Wait, who's fertile? Uh, women from that age. It does. Yes, it has yeah, a lot to do with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The reason why is because they're, they're youthful. They're probably at their prettiest fertility. Mm -hmm. Chastity is, is probably going to go up because they're younger. I'll keep it simple. Women value experience. Men value inexperience. inexperience. Okay. So when is yeah. when are men Damn. supposed to settle down? Do they never settle down? Never. never. <laughs> never. never. That's it's not clearly like not. Honestly, I mean, that's it's, a, it's a personal it choice. But to be real with you, men are always going to want other girls. Mm -hmm. So okay. either they had a bunch of girls and they say, you know what? At this time, I decide, but it's, it's hardly ever. Most of them are going to want to smash other girls. They're going to, yeah. Like, the yeah. dudes can bust nuts to the day they die. Yeah. Women are the ones that really typically look for security as they get older. Men, not really. Yeah. And so, if they do, they're probably lying to you. They're still going to want to grow out the side. If I lined up every guy and said, listen, bro, you could keep your man girl, but you can have a piece on the side. All oh, them going to, wait, she ain't going to catch me or leave me? <laughs> no, she won't, bro. They're going to keep that. They're going to take that girl with the side. So you... I, I have one last question for you real quick. Go ahead. So knowing this information, right? Knowing the truth about what men do. Would you accept it or not? Oh, that's so hard. I've actually been thinking about it the whole time. Me too. Like you guys been yeah, talking. I'm like, oh my yeah, god. So that's a yes or no. <laughs> just, just from your Come point back of view. Come to me, because I'm still it's thinking about it. No, yeah. no, right? Hard no. Okay. Hard no. You? I'm sorry. What are we accepting? The way the men are. So the, uh, the way they've not, expressed you, men are. The whole topic was. Oh, okay. Please listen to one thing, right? Bro. I'm saying. Allow my reality you know men are going to cheat for oh, the yeah. most part. <laughs> Knowing that, you find the best man. <laughs> Yeah. Would you take it or leave it? Take it. Take it. Come on, HR. I, I, hold on. I'm, I, I'm, <laughs> that is so <laughs> terrifying what you just said. Uh, but in my reality, no. Like, uh, do you, you not... can attract what you want. And if you want to attract a woman that will be with you or whatever circumstances. You know, let me you take want. your logic. Let me <laughs> sit in my house, right? My mom's Fucking basement. Fucking do it. You play Cheeto, do... play video games, eat Cheetos, be a fat piece of shit. I'm not going to the gym. Is that what you want? Smoke weed every day. Smoke weed every day. You know want? what? I'm going to fucking do what I want to do. And I'm gonna attract that yes. bad bitch. Yes, 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 king. yes. 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 King. yes. yes. I love this. Yes. Yeah, okay. yes. You know what? Let's play Call of Duty. You got this. Yes. Look at this. We should go do it. Yes. Yes. All right. Absolutely. All right. I'm gonna manifest that bad bitch. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Exactly all right. Real quick to all the ladies here at the table. How stupid do I sound? Stupid. Real stupid. Real stupid. I don't think you sound stupid. Thank you. Uh, stupid. Thank you. Here's the thing. <laughs> I cannot. Th this is the no, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. You can't. You must accept reality. Women want winners. I can't sit there and say you should change. I don't agree with this. In my no, reality, no. I could eat Cheetos and be a loser and get a bad bitch. It doesn't work that way. Adapt or die. Adapt or die. That's the truth. Men must perform. The difference is this. No offense to you, but you're allowed to be in this delusional world of yours because men are going to approach you regardless of how you think yeah. because you're an attractive woman. So you get the privilege to be delusional. Yeah. Men don't. I well, can't sit there, eat Cheetos and expect a bad bitch. You can be unaware of reality and a guy's still going to come up to you. He might get turned off once he talks to you and figures out that you're not in reality, but it's okay. <laughs> you're still going to get the attention from the guy in the first place. Okay, yeah, but, but you're, no. you're still accepting that. I don't know. You have to also find a girl that's willing to be okay with you sharing your body with Just other women. Trust me, trust me, so either you're going to know yeah. about it or you're not going to know about it. Come on, Candice, manifest it. You said you would take it, right? What about you? Yeah, when I'm ready for that situation, yeah. Ready for me. when? When is that? When I'm ready. I'm I mean, you're <laughs> so, so quick question. Do you want a man now? Um. I mean, you're 29. The answer is yeah. no. Nope. So, <laughs> the answer is no. If you meet that guy, you probably, you, you probably know him right now, but he might just cheat. Take it or leave it. Huh? Yeah, I would take. I would take it. Okay. Yeah. What about you? I would take it. Take it. Mm -hmm. I'm curious. Why'd you leave your baby daddy? Ooh. 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 Did he cheat? Damn, what the Ooh, hell? Fresh. <laughs> oh, fresh. I was one? really young when I had my... My daughter's 13. Mm. I'm 28. So, like, I oh, was shit. I was young. Mm. So, like... Wait. We're into... Yes, okay. 13? All right. I was young. I had, a, a like, a hard childhood. So, that's why I'm... You know? So, anyways... I you? left him. I left him. And well, I've why? been... Because he was a 
Bum. Okay. Bum. Okay. Bum. Okay. And if bum? you're watching, you were a freaking bum. You still are one. <laughs> oh, shit. <sure. laughs> the funny part is, it. he gave you a baby. Okay. <laughs> right. The best thing that ever happened to me. Okay, so we'll just take it or leave it from guys. Take it. Take it. Oh, she's taking the right. <laughs> so what the, the what? Huh? No, Chris so, said son. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> so the guy you're talking to right now, right? Would you take it from him? I mean, shit. I already took it. Yeah, okay. yeah. He told you. <laughs> okay. Oh, so he, 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 oh, he cheated on you and you? I mean, I went through the DMs. I'm like, oh, fuck. You saw it. I already seen it. I yeah. knew, but I already knew. So you know. That's why I looked. Is, is I he, knew. Is he a higher earner? He made back. Uh, is he more uh, uh, He does from time to time. Girl, you're from time to time. Oh, okay. okay, I was you like, know what that, that explains why she's tight. You know what that means. That's why she All called right. him the Joker. Okay. Okay. What about you? Okay. Take it or leave it. You, you did it yourself. I don't have a baby daddy, but if I no 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 <laughs> what the, no, 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 no. <laughs> what are you the question is simply are you going to accept male nature as we described it to you? I don't know. I feel like I'm obviously gonna question it. Um, I kind of hate like all men. I hate all men. Oh, okay. um, sorry to you guys. <laughs> I feel, like, the word? I feel like the answer wait, is missile? manipulation. Misandrous. 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 Oh, who actually knew the word? Who actually knew the word? Wait, wait. Oh, shit. Oh, you know. Oh, okay. She would okay. Yeah, yo, Dr. Mark. Yeah, that's actually Dr. Mark. Oh, 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 yo, hold on, hold on. Was that, the, was that the first girl to come on the show that knew the word yeah, ever? Yeah, yeah. First word history. you, Miss Girl. Congratulations. Are you serious? Yes, dead ass. Yeah, dead ass. Yeah. Yeah, it, I know. Yeah. Yes. Now it all makes sense why she's been asking good Mom, questions. You know what? Second, my yeah, yeah, second. real quick. Second, man, love. The amount of girls have come on the show that don't even know what Masai two girls. Second, second, second. Can we second. get the definition of that? Alaska, Alaska, Alaska for yeah. a friend. Yeah. She did. Okay. Yeah. Definition no, she did it, bro. Yeah. No, she did it. She said it. She I need the clip on that. Yeah, actually, we're talking. That's cap. Sorry. Don't don't worry about us. That's a whole other. Go ahead. All right, Mo. Oh, not the cap. All right, you're saying you're a misandrist. Fantastic. Keep going. What else? So, um, honestly, like, I feel like if you want to make a guy love you, you just got to manipulate him. That's what girls do anyway. So, I mean, this is what they do anyway. Good intentions, go for it. Like, you got to. Like, that's just like... I mean, we got to trick them. Yeah, exactly. Like, I obviously, agree. the I'm male brain is wired completely different than the female brain. So, I mean... You got to do what you got to do. Girl game is 100% actually manipulation when you think and about it. it's not yeah. malicious. That's just, like, it's right. not. Like, nothing's wrong with it. Like, that's just how we have to be. And it sucks. Like, it really does. But, hey. You benefit from it. Yeah. I was about to you say, it's live the and you learn. So, take it or leave it. You literally live and you learn. The guy well, that you um, like. The guy that I like. Might cheat. Take it or leave it. Oh, God. You're going to make me cry. I hope he doesn't cheat on me. Um, if he does, obviously. <laughs> so you can scam um, all his feelings. I mean, yeah. <laughs> honestly, like yeah, I question okay. his ass all the time, so it's definitely in the back of my mind. He lets you question him. <laughs> mm. No, he's definitely Wait. very reassuring. I'm not gonna oh, lie. Okay. I mean, maybe he's gay or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> what what, what the hell <laughs> is going on here? Your pet he's very, <laughs> he's <laughs> very reassuring. He tells like he doesn't lie to me. He really doesn't. Mm. Like he's awesome. I'm serious. He does. Like, he is. You know what's happening here? Hold on. Does he know that you, that you do OnlyFans? Oh God. Yeah, I do OnlyFans. So no, no, with him or, or without no, him? No, not with him. Ooh. But he knows, right? Yeah, he knows, and it does and, bother and, him. And do you know that Case he doesn't closed. lie to you because Done. you guys yes, have same. had uncomfortable conversations <laughs> that would have benefited if he didn't lie to you? How do you know that he doesn't lie to you? I'm like an Wait. FBI agent, bro. I swear. <laughs> like, if you lie Mari. to me, I will catch you. He went into I will. Me, I will. I will. I will. question. How old is he? he 23, 22, 23. Oh, gosh. He's oh. definitely. He's he trying to collect that check. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's like, 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 and I like tall guys. I'm so sorry if you're watching this. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have always gone for tall guys. But no, I swear, he's very loyal. Like, it's honestly insane. I didn't expect it because I have low standards when it comes to guys. Did he know this uh, yeah. OnlyFans thing before sure. you became... Before no. You... No. Oh. Is he subscribed? And it's an issue. Like, <laughs> <laughs> is he subscribed? I hope not. And I don't think so. Uh, can I be honest with you? Yes. You know what's happening here? 
Tell me. He's telling you what you want to hear. I don't smash so. you. And I I, gu- I guarantee you. That was easy. Look at his DMs. That was easy. He got other bitches in line yeah. up. I, tell, I I'm agree. You. I'm sorry. Tell, tell oh, I know. I'm not so sure it's at this point. It's going to be true. No. I mean. He's I, I attractive. Lie. Tattoos. And is on somewhat has some games. Here's the thing, bro. The way, she, the way she speaks about him. Yeah. I've, always, I've always said that a, a woman is a mirror reflection of her respect for and admiration for her man. No offense, but the way you spoke about him makes me quickly realize that you don't respect him like that, and he's more than likely a simp and a sucker. He is a simp and a sucker. <laughs> as a, as a, as a, <laughs> at first, I didn't respect him, and he knows After that. that like, I don't even what? care if he sees this. What? I did not what respect you? him. What made you oh my God. come to the It's worse than I thought. Am I psychic or what? <laughs> <laughs> I Am I psychic or what? <laughs> oh, I'm no, telling y'all, I know women better than they know themselves. The way a girl talks about her significant other tells you everything you, you need to know about that guy. You just made so many points. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Just, yeah. 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 It's true. Now. It's, it's true. true. Yeah. 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 And she's yeah. even yeah. worked yeah. all the way yeah. down. Yeah. Listen. Listen, guys. We're else. listening. He's been respectful to me. Like, I Could would you literally just do anything. Like, like, he would get so mad at me and I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. And I would tell him the truth. I would tell him what I did and he'd be like, okay. Um, let's fix this. So you yeah. cheated on him, haven't you? No. But it's I had done some questionable Stop things. Okay, like, did he get a blowjob? Blow yeah, fuck you. A blowjob? Huh? Blowjob? On what? the side? When he was in there, a blowjob? Somebody else? What? Did you? Did to I somebody what? else. Oh, oh did, did you, you give a blowjob blow to somebody else? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Maybe once. <laughs> Hands up. Oh, 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 my God. And he knew about it. And he... What? He took me back. Girl, you cheated. Bang. I said about what they said. He's a full fucking simp. Yeah, he's oh, a simp. Oh, God, he's a simp. But like, also, like, like, if I fuck up again, he's gone. And I know fuck that. Man, and that's why bad. I'm like, oh <laughs> shit. No, he ain't going nowhere. No, You're not going nowhere. He's not going nowhere. He's going nowhere. Yo, I know the chat's going crazy right now. Yeah, guys, we're gonna read chats right now. Actually, okay. How you guys waiting? Uh, uh, yeah. Up one. yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we got s- almost seventeen thousand people watching right now. Like the video, guys. Yo, guys, do me a favor. Can you guys like the goddamn video? This has been a pretty good panel of ladies. I yeah. appreciate you guys being respectful and everything else mm-hmm. like that. I really do, um, because we've had some crazy ass bitches on this week, and it's been. I'm losing hair follicles. So we only have five. We only have five point three k likes. Only five point three k. Bro, guys, we got almost seventeen thousand of y'all enough. watching right now. I need you guys to like the fucking video uh, for my hair follicles. And sub to the channel, please. And sub to the channel, please. All right, we got twenty bucks from Jack of All Tirades. Goes influencer. You mispronounce asteroid. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sam Axe goes. Have you guys ever thought about starting a uh, bank with Tate and others to carry your own banking? Uh, uh, I'm not sure about that, my know. friend. Um, the fi- financial institutions are very scary and the regulations are tough. Fresh better bag them two monetary dancers tonight. Get them away from Shirk, the 34 years old. What? what? Huh? Uh, I don't even know what probably. that means. Okay, <laughs> let's keep going. Uh, we got make no mistake. This is the official objective rating for tonight's episode. Jessica 2, Rachel 8, GG 2. Nikki Bands 5, Nadia 9, no nurse question for her. <laughs> she f- flunked. Uh, Chef Zaz, <laughs> Chef Yaz 4. Brooke Beto, four. Ali Lasso, three. Carla, five. Carrick Corridi, two. two. Can we see him? So no Can you pull him up? Yeah. 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 I bet he's a negative fucking exactly. 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 You're a loser. You're a loser. Exactly. You're a loser. 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 you are a Yo, okay. no, fuck that. I see through his picture. He's a <laughs> <laughs> you, have to, you have to meet them and see how they fold. I'm starting to think those gloves are for other things than fashion. Uh, Twenty dollars from Otaku uh, goes. Please give them paper uh, for one out of ten question. They always give hive mind answers. Thank you for your service, sister. Um, okay. Yep. Uh, Hoa Hotel Manager, you uh, won. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm? Who's a hotel what? manager? What? Okay, me. never mind. Where's I Fresh? I see his chain levitating. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> funny, bro. We got Ridzan goes uh, 20 bucks. Hey, Fresh and Myron. Currently in the Air Force Station in Destin. What's your thoughts on selling insurance part-time? Oh, Just make God. sure you go ahead and get your outside employment paperwork taken care of because the government will definitely fuck you up if you don't. You don't want, you don't want OSI on your ass. Yeah. 20 bucks from TBC Zach. Uh, shout out to all those nasty boys of Discord. NBA, we up icy. You ain't shit. At Big Mo, tell these 304s why you eat the spinach and kale. Okay? <laughs> what the fuck? And then we got 50 bucks from Albert Sam goes, ladies want men who are leaders. 
But those ladies have problems being told what to do. Can't make this up. <laughs> <laughs> he might be right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree. Right. Which is why you have to, I tell guys all the time, you got to really be on your masculine he and let these 50, girls know there is no compromise here. It's my way or the highway. I tell guys all the time, if a girl doesn't follow lie. what you say, my oh. way. kick her to the curb. Way. Wait, your, way? Way. Uh, your way? No, I mean, I guess it just depends. Um, I think no, in a relationship, no. it is my way. Obviously. Um, oh. Unpopular <laughs> opinion. <laughs> Unpopular <laughs> opinion. <laughs> that is for I, sure. I, I'm yeah. not going to lie. You are with a simp. So, yeah. yes, it is Maybe your I'm way. Maybe I'm a guy. Who knows? Uh, All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> when I hear a man say, happy life, happy wife, the man is miserable. As MLD says, happy king, happy kingdom. Facts. Uh, ladies, is prenup a deal breaker for you? No. No. No? Raise your yeah. hands for who it is a deal breaker for if you're going to get married to a guy who says prenup. If it's a deal breaker, raise your hands. I love you, honey, but sign this paper. These girls are cat, bro. Yeah, okay. No, it's not. Yeah. It just depends. Like, if he wants to. That's his brain. Brain. Like, Especially for you, Miss uh, yeah. Love is Eternal. And... Love is Eternal. Actually, I do. I do think All right, HR. It yeah. It's a deal breaker yeah. for you. Yeah. All right, just you want... because um, he he wants to take care of me. He doesn't want me to bring anything financially if men in general don't want that. So, yes, it is because you're taking care of me. And if we get divorced, then. Boy, doesn't you have bands in your name? They can still take care of you if it has to be specified in the prenup that they do. Then you need to. Continue to help me out yeah. until I can get on my feet. Oh, you got bands in your name. <laughs> Nikki Bands. Dance to make her dance. Yeah, I still want to make her dance. Where are you from? You want, you want his bands. bands. Fantastic. <laughs> Watch <laughs> his <laughs> Red Top Taken. Uh, well, uh, yeah, Red Top Taken goes, ladies, I'm trying to get through this. Uh, she's from, uh, where do you say you're from earlier? Wait. Is that what you were asking? Yeah, yeah. actually, oh, she yeah. was from. Yeah, West Virginia. Sound like okay. England. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no jumper said he posted where he was to, uh, so he told on himself at the same time. I think he went live actually. If, if I remember correctly, he was live on Instagram. Oh well, then. But hold on, hold on. Come down real quick because you missed one, Chris. Uh, red tape, uh, red top taken. Oh, watch his interview with DJ Academics. His girl set him up. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about that, bro. Yeah, bro. I don't think his girl set him up. I, Donna I, Elliot. I, I suppose okay, act. So you agree? We don't think is is her. She she, she just dumb. dumb action. Yeah. But she mm -hmm. didn't set him up to get him killed, bro. That's that's dumb. That's, yeah. That's her baby father. And if she did, Fact. that's cutting off her lifeline. Not not only that, but like that's the biggest police evidence ever, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Gotta uh, be. Darnell Elliott goes fifty bucks. Mister Gaines, think about it. That jewelry is probably too hot. Police probably watching pawn shops. Too hot to fence. Jewelry is nothing more than a trophy. Someone wanted him dead. If simple robbery, why only chain no money? Why not rob register, bro? You're assuming that these people aren't retarded, and they are. Remember, they stole pop uh, pop chains, Rolex, busted down Rolex for about thirty k. They sold it for two thousand dollars, bro. These. Gangster dudes are idiots, bro. Mm -hmm. um, what's stupid is pulling up in a S550 wearing a bunch of jewelry in a very dangerous area. Stop trying to make everything about women. He made a poor choice, period. The Jack boys following her on the gram. Get the fuck out of here. Mm. Hey, man. Like mm -hmm. I said before, if she had it, she exasperated the problem putting where he was at though on Instagram. Bro, that corn fed RX8 guy. Though. Yeah. Currently in the US Army, an ex vet is right. That's why Russia has been losing the war in Ukraine. They are using personal phones and posting around what they do. And the Ukrainian army have been tracking their phones. And that's oh, from wow. the corn wow. fed. Mm, uh, eh, okay. okay, I don't know about the Russian army losing, more. my friend, but that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other conversation. Garage Man Teddy going, shout out to the Ice uh, Age Squirrel next to Fresh. Millions of followers because the movie was lit. <laughs> Pull up his Instagram, too. I'm not going to Pull his shit up, too. Go, right. go click on his he Instagram. Said, he said you look like the Ice Age Squirrel. You have anything you want to say back? Can you pull up this up, Chris? I've never um, seen this. I'll just go to comment that on my TikTok oh, videos because then they'll go more viral yeah. than they already do. So I would I'd love to see you. Garage Man Teddy. <laughs> right. yeah. Bring your ass here, boy. <laughs> All right, ready? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Pull it up real quick because I've never seen Let's the movie see I Saved. So what they said... That's what the that's, I not, really that's a really that. harsh remark in comparison is it harsh? to it's, it's a harsh I mean, remark. Yeah. 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 Bring out the squirrel. That's the sloth. That's the sloth. That's the sloth. The squirrel's much cuter. All right, let's see. The squirrel's cuter. Oh man! And he's the nut that'll never get caught. So oh. Yeah, that's, that's not the squirrel. No, no, guys. it's the squirrel. That's the squirrel. Oh, yeah. Either way, Chris, that's go the squirrel. That's probably what they meant. That's probably good. Look, Chris, go back. It's right there. That is a sloth. Open it. It's not the squirrel. And then look to the bottom right. Is it scrap? That's oh, the squirrel. Yeah. It's I so cute. Like to know. How I cute is it? <laughs> that nigga, bro. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> Thanks for the All compliment. right. The chat Thanks is ruthless. Anyway, the chat is All right. Let's continue on. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Rachel. Rachel, get out of your corporate <laughs> HR mode. 
This is why you have to make independent money. So no one is relying up, uh, uh, to this type of HR political. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that, bro. She is in HR. Yeah. Yeah. So she's got to say things politically correct. I'm sorry. I've been caught on today. She's trained. I didn't mean yeah. to. I didn't mean to. It's just. She's me. trained to believe I'm in bullshit. Fantastic. No, no. You got to understand. She both sides. I couldn't make it to work because, like, no. you know, I had a bunch of emotional damage and my life really sucks or whatever. Please feel bad for this me. This all makes sense. Emotional. Yeah. No. She's like, yeah. you know what? Try. It's okay. I I understand. We're not gonna fire you this time. He yeah. walks out stupid. Yeah. No. <laughs> Continues doing it. Very forgiving doing. person. Uh, Jay Martin, fifty bucks goes. Ladies, you have no clue what emotional outpouring looks like with testosterone. This is horrible advice you're giving. <gasps> the prisons are filled with men that were encouraged to be emotional <sighs> and not practice stoicism. Young men that shoot up schools age well. Damn. As well. As age well? well? Oh, no, no, no. Well. Uh, what he's trying to say is that when men can't control their emotions, yeah. catastrophic things they happen, which I agree with. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Prison is filled with a bunch of emotional idiots. That's true. Oh, no. I agree. I, mean, I can agree with that. Well, you guys were saying earlier you need to be in your emotions. I never said that. <laughs> I agree with that shit. Uh, okay. okay. Vaughn B says, Spiritual Loni Ben Chick doesn't realize our vulnerability centers around our protection and provision instincts. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, that, that is true. That is where a lot of men's insecurities come from or their, you know, vulnerability. Uh, I need a baddie with low self-esteem. And that's from Three Diglets. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Wow. Uh, rough day one, 20 bucks goes, an unlimited amount of delusional women will keep the FNF show relevant forever. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, bro. Like, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. I didn't realize that women knew this little about men, but eh, that's the world that we live in. Crazy. Cloud World, Myron, I'll <laughs> pray for your hair line tonight. Also, shout out to FNF crew. Keep up the great work, Kings. Thank you, bro. Uh, Black Joyous, and we, yo, Chris, we gotta go 50 up from this point forward, right? Yep. Oh, no. Okay, we're caught up. Uh, next time someone interrupts or moves the goalposts, hit a front lat spread to assert your dominance. JK Myron, you're the man, J bro. No, it's okay, man. It's fine. Girls always made, move the goalposts. Box of Orange is 84. Girl next to Fresh looks like she's squeaking hard. Please keep an eye on her and keep the EpiPen close. This nigga, bro. You have anything you want to say to him? Um, I'm just awkward. What do you mean? Okay, at least she admits it. She, okay, yeah. she's just awkward. Okay. I'm not on drugs. I'm just awkward. Okay. And then last one here. Uh, talk to me. Nice podcast, podcast goes. This is why we lie to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, uh, so did, did anyone else have a question or something like that? No. Yes, before? actually. Uh, oh, you because do? you oh, said, uh, I know you read a super chat. Yeah. So yeah. you said uh, this. Is, you didn't realize that women uh, didn't know as much about men. But also you saying that men should, you know, be with many women so would you say that you know a lot about women because you've been with a, many of them um uh, it's a combination it's from interviewing them and talking to them on the show and then yeah. also yeah from dealing with them as well you know i mean from a sexual standpoint if that's what I you mean, mean are you in a relationship <laughs> i knew this was coming no, because he <laughs> cried go. not. i'm gonna say no here we go <sighs> personal go ahead He's right struggling. girls Hell no. here's Sorry. the thing you are. I have multiple things going on. Is oh, what I was saying. Man, we should have okay. expected Are they that, watching? But there, there's, yes. no, there's no one. <laughs> no, they're all watching. They're, they're, all watching. they're all watching. Here's the thing. If you're always lying to women, then they're not going to know, mm -hmm. you know, a man. So it's right. just going around in a circle. Like, if you're not lying to women, then they're, they're going to know. But whose job is it to figure out the opposite gender? No one's. Well, obviously, you have to guys have made self. it their business to understand us. You have to, to know your damn so Here's the thing. Men go out of their way to understand women. <laughs> right now, we got almost 17,000 people watching so that they can understand women better. And it's what? Late as hell in the morning? Yep. Yeah. Versus oh women. I don't see no podcast out there teaching girls how to get laid. Call her daddy. You, they don't I mean, teach wait, them how to get laid. Wait, no. That how to finesse. Not they teach them how to finesse and stupid horror stories, but they don't teach them how to become better with women she, at all. She's transitioned to that more in her late, late, late. And I would argue that, that her advice is catastrophic. It does not make make her more attractive to women for landing a husband or a serious relationship. So how did you learn mm. about women? Yeah. Through yeah. experience, trial and error, getting rejected a bunch of times. But having so did many you... women at one time. And in which Well, you that, that here's the thing. That's the that's the end product. You have to fall on your you know, let me ask this question that's so I can get a better idea of where the women stand here. And then I'll address your relationship thing here in a second. Because a lot of girls ask that all the time to try to make a move here um, <laughs> what do you think you think of a guy let's say a guy talks to 10 girls good looking guy etc really attractive right maybe has some status some money let's say he talks to 10 girls how many of them do you think he's going to sleep with nine hold probably on wait ten. let me go around you nine. think all 10 probably all 10 nine. what about you nine, nine of them nine. what about you one's ten. always the phone huh 10 all 10 of them okay yeah all 10 okay all 10 yeah all 10 all 10 okay 20 because it's going to be 10 more somewhere else <laughs> 
I really like this. Okay, what about I think you? you're gonna be able to take what he can that get, honestly. He, you think he's gonna when get all 10? Sex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I think Damn. Get what about you? You're talking about the average man, right? No, an attractive guy. Yeah. Has his shit together, etc. He, he understands game and everything. You think how many girls? Oh, if he talks to 10 girls, how many? Yeah, he's gonna all 10? Fuck. Everyone, yeah. Really? Okay. Mm-hmm. What about you? This is horrible. Six to seven. Six to seven? Wow. I said nine. You triggered my trap card! <laughs> so what if I you told guys? you, ladies? What if I told you the most attractive men that teach this shit worldwide only close about 10% of the girls they talk to? I told I'm old. Yeah, that makes sense. But I've the, seen it. Let me say that one more time know. for you, ladies. Close 10%? The most attractive men that teach this shit and get paid for it. The best of the best when it comes to dealing with women and uh, you know, pickup artists, whatever you want to call it, they close only 10% of the girls they talk to. In other words, if they talk to 10 girls, they're getting one. They talk to 100 girls, they're getting 10. Okay. What's happening? Okay. Okay. So yeah, and, 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 see, this is the thing. Where are these this guys is at? what I'm trying to say. Because they I say, face more rejection? Uh, no. It, well, yes, Wait. that's a part of it. But that's what I'm trying to say. Women, can be women are completely unaware of how difficult it is to actually be attractive spit game and eventually have sex with a girl it's I think extremely we are aware. difficult we, no, just date, we do we just and date whatever you literally and just stated nine out of a guy's going to pull nine out of ten girls you are grossly unaware yeah well, well, you, listen, well I, I guess in you're terms of sex. you know what's funny like imagine this in your daily life yeah. instagram in person you go out to club right mm-hmm. how, how many guys actually approach you a bunch right maybe oh, like five mm-hmm. ten so yeah maybe 15 yeah are all those guys how many smash none maybe none or maybe one who not knows even, yeah. but we're just saying look at those numbers alone yeah so most, most guys are not, are not getting laid for the most part right, not yeah, only that but, well, not, not only that so so we're talking about the the best guys in the world get 10 yeah. percent. what if i told you one in three men right now between the ages of 18 to 30 is either a virgin or hasn't had sex in a year yeah is I that, believe that you're saying that's a fact that's a fact I mean, it, it, wait, what it was it actually again? 18 to 30 one in three men 33 oh. percent between 18 to 30 hasn't had sex in a year and or is a virgin yeah, yeah I believe that it. makes sense it's probably a gamer. <laughs> I don't know. I said it I doesn't make look, sense. But, well, but you presented the question in a way that it is an ideal, right? It's a, a, a 10 out of 10 person. They have game. They have all these qualities. And they have the right and to decide if they want purpose. to see And they still 10. close 10% on is purpose. my point. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, wasn't. The best of the best. Guys that get paid to teach guys how to do this still close 10%. Let that sink mm-hmm. in, ladies. No, no, listen for two seconds. You've just been responding. All of you said 10, 9. You had the the closest one, which six, is 6, yeah. which that's not even close. Ladies, it is extremely difficult to be attractive and get a bunch of girls. We've seen Trey Songs take L's. We've seen celebrities take L's. Mm-hmm. That's the world that we live in. Y'all, y'all think just because it's easy for you to get laid that it's easy for guys to get laid. No, guys struggle. I would argue most men are invisible to most women. Hmm. The guy at CVS, McDonald's. Freaking Walmart. Think about how many men yeah. that you you walk by, you yeah, don't even yeah. see them. I just feel like guys are so but much cappers and they just merch. go after the image. Like guys, they wear the chains, they wear the clothes, they may not have shit. What percentage of men actually do you see that have these chains and shit? A lot of them nowadays. They that, come from the flea market. But that very much. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> again, 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 you're making a great the mistake. Average guys. No, we're talking about men in general. Yo, you're describing, even though these guys are cappers and fake chains, all that other stuff, that is still a minority of men. But, wait. Are An extreme talk- minority. So the rest must be gay. Are we talking about men in like, general? Are we talking about the best? Because when you first started, you said the best of the tallest, the richest, the whatever guy. That's what you said before. Now I said you're an saying attractive the guy. average guy. No. What I said is, if the best guys in the world only close 10%, the average guy is fucked. That's what, what I'm trying to say. Wasn't majority of this podcast about guys Getting not really victims. caring about sex? They just want to get laid. It doesn't really mean much to them. They'll see so anyone. What are you from, saying? Because it goes from ten. No, am I wrong? You're saying one percent now versus now. It's like conflicting. Like isn't that because what you it said was about? that in the beginning? That's what y'all want. Multiple women, but now you're saying that you only smash. One percent of those women. I'm so they think they're saying their because rates they of would do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Their they rates don't actually yeah. get to do I, it. Yeah, but at first yeah. I'm because sex with anyone. No, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I think it's it doesn't because, mean much to me. No soul ties. Nothing like important. It's just sex. You, you know? just said that. I'm yeah, confused. but yeah. I guess they're saying that women have the freedom to be super picky, whereas men can still qualify and be the ultimate qualification, the best version that everyone wants, and they'll still get denied by the majority of the women. Thank you. Thank yeah. God you understand. I do. I get it. 
<sighs> okay. Just, no one it's thinks just she does. Shit, yeah. HR. It's a shitty reality. HR, man. What, what, HR. So, what, what is, I don't get what's confusing about this. I what's what's confusing? Well, you get it, but what's confusing? Because like, we already said the high numbers of women I don't that think men sleep with. So now you're I think not, it just goes back to the idea that like every woman qualifies to men to fuck them. I feel like there's like, so many attractive women. Yeah, exactly. And I, so, I don't so, know. I guess I'm just saying. Okay, like, let me. I, I think I'll be able to answer it very simply. In general, maybe between ten to twenty percent of the guys are fucking a majority of the girls. Mm-hmm. Again, a minority of the men are having sex mm-hmm. with, with a majority of the women. All the girls are chasing the same small percentage of men yes. at yes. the top. Rappers, Very, athletes, yeah, yeah. business guys. Yeah. What, I'm saying, say rappers, what I'm saying, those guys still strike out with the majority of the women that they yeah. talk to. Yeah, that's true. Because okay. the pickiness yeah. is in the women's See, I, 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 here's the thing. I get it. It's sense. difficult for you guys to understand is because okay. you've probably never been denied by a man before. So for you, it's yes. like, I can't That's fathom true. this. You're telling me that the most attractive guys get rejected a lot? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. You could take a man that's damn near perfect on paper. He could walk up to a girl. She might not like the way his shoes are fucking tied, <laughs> and she'll deny him. <laughs> Girls reject men for stupid, <laughs> retarded reasons yes. and miss opportunities all the time. And that's just the way the world is. That's why guys have to get out there because girls will sit there and get mad. He talked to me, then I saw him go talk to my homegirl. Yeah. That pissed me off because you rejected him. So he's going to go talk to another girl. Any guy that's good at women understands it's a numbers game. You got to yeah. talk to as many girls as possible. Yeah. That's the only way it works. Yeah. Now, going back to what you were saying uh-huh. with a relationship, mm-hmm. right? A man's value isn't determined by can he get in a relationship. That's a woman's determination yeah. of value. A man's yeah. determination of is the girl worthy to be in a relationship with me? We pick who gets a relationship. You pick who fucks. So you use the wrong metric. I just wanted Damn. to know okay. yeah. where your ideology was coming from, from a single point of view or a relationship. It's point irrelevant point. because it's irrelevant because I don't have to be in a relationship to tell you that men want these things. And just like you don't have to fuck a bunch of guys to tell me that women don't women have to preserve their value. You have to suck a bunch of dick to do that? No, because you understand <laughs> that your value comes from your sexuality and you're not going to give it to anybody. Well, I understand as a man. My value comes from my ability to provide a relationship, and I'm not going to give it to anybody. We don't play by the same set of rules. We have different metric of success. Your metric of success is can you land a relationship? My metric of success is can I fuck as many girls as possible? Actually, that's not my metric of success, but I understand what you're saying. I never said that I needed a relationship. But, uh, so, so, you do you want one? So, so you're telling me that you would prefer to have sex with multiple men at the same time and be promiscuous? I like to get hair from a lot of people, but I won't have sex with all of them. No. Okay, so fantastic. You proved my point. You would prefer to have sex with just one individual, correct? Uh, yes, I would. Thank you. discussing gotcha, different bitch. currencies, right? Like men have a different currency. They want to have like as many girls as they can sleep with, and women want to qualify to be girlfriends. So yes. basically, in simpler standards, women have higher values, higher standards, right? No different standards. Yeah, different. They have higher values, higher standards. They I think we have more, I think we have a guy than a guy wants from I a girl. I think we have more strict qualifications. Yeah, like a and guy men are not like, as oh, harsh yeah. and rigid and No, respect. you have strict regulations and restrictions on who you fuck. We have strict regulations on who we, we date, date and give a title to. Date, yeah. We have yeah. different metrics. Yeah, different. You want yeah. a relationship, we want sex. Women chase security, men chase promiscuity. Yeah. Uh, That's r- true. Real quick. Fuck. Update we just hit on the Clippers channel. Hey. I was going to get my 266. What does that mean? Shout out to the fucking haters. Oh, I didn't even mention this bum ass name, but we surpassed you Sheesh. on our fucking Clips channel, man. Mention the name. Yeah, nah, no. No, 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 no Kodai, yeah, we brought all different types of people on the show, guys. We are the most diversified podcast on fucking the internet. Maybe alongside, right alongside Joe Rogan, bringing all different types of guests for y'all. So check us out on the Clip Channel. Also subscribe to Feta eighteen eleven. Also subscribe to Freshman CEO. Uh, okay, ladies, you have anything? Got a question? Does no. someone else have some? I don't so, think so. We'll do laugh thoughts on the show. Any comments, questions, and then we'll get this uh, closed out. All right, uh, Jay Martin. Oh. This arguing is why Viagra was invented. Okay, fantastic, Jay Martin. Oh my God. 50 bucks from investment. If Myron was an employee at the nursing facility, Rachel would immediately fire him. 
<laughs> probably. Uh, she would. They'd probably say you're making the other people feel uncomfortable, yes. telling them the truth. Yes. Uh, for women to cheat, usually they need a reason. For men, we just need a location. Oh my <laughs> God. That is so good. That's, that's so very so true. true. Yeah. That's from Thanos Warrior. Yeah. We don't care about the woman. It's like using the restroom and nobody cuddle with the toilet. Oh, <laughs> this nigga, bro. All right. <laughs> Ratings left to right from Myron. Okay, so from here. Hose and Heineken's, four. <laughs> Financial pred predator, six. <laughs> Racially ambiguous, four. Blow up doll, six. Dollar dollar bills, seven. seven. <laughs> Mississippi Wolverine, <laughs> five. <laughs> Ditsy Blonde, five. Wiana Judd. Winona. Winona uh, Judd. The Wiana Judd. <laughs> uh, four. WNBA. Six, NDA, five. Fantastic. <laughs> what the uh, fuck? Yeah, oh, because those are all the words we use. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 they pretty much are. Yeah. Uh, 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 ladies, would you rather be a mistress to a king that makes 150K plus per year or a wife to an average man that is five foot eight and makes 40K per year? Oh, fuck. That's obvious, but let's go around. Uh, yeah, let's go around the table real quick. <laughs> average man, five foot uh, eight, 50K per year or a stud, 150K plus a year? Do you get to have love with both of them? But you're going to be a mistress, Sam. You ain't his main chick. You're his oh. like, side chick. Uh-uh. Um, he still takes care of you, though. Oh. Second one, I think. I don't know. No, first one, first one, first one. You want to be with the average guy, five, five foot eight, 50K per year? No. Okay. <laughs> Mistress. Okay, what about you? I don't know. That's so hard. Come back to me. Come back to me. I need to process it. Oh, man. That's a stupid Processing. fucking question. Process, if process. you're a mistress, I'm not the main person, right? Yeah, so you still get you still get some kind of provision. Years, I mean, yeah. But... Okay, well, okay, one fifty k. Okay. Yes. What about you? Yeah, I'm not the main person, so uh, average I would guy. The okay. What about you? One. Um, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna be a mistress to the one fifty k, and then like I don't know, date the other one. You know. Okay. She came in real. All right. What about uh, what about you? What would you do for food, nigga? For for sex. You take a Joker or Batman in this case? I'm gonna take Joker. No, not the one. Year? No, I'm gonna take the forty. Was it? Is it fifty or forty? Oh, fifty k. Yeah, I'm gonna 50 take the forty. Fifty k, five for eight. Mm -hmm. Damn. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. No, uh, forty. Mexico, Cancun. I'm gonna take the forty k. We can afford Mexico and Cancun. Not 40. a resort. <laughs> not fifty k. Uh, we are gonna stay with a cousin. If she makes on the money, beach. I mean, okay. Hey, yeah, right. I may make the money. Who knows? I might pay for the trip. Yeah, exactly. Fifty k per year. She going. Wait, you gonna pay for the trip? I actually say forty. I actually listen. Y'all don't know nothing about me. Yes, I would. Dave and Buster's man. Stop it. Saying, <laughs> just saying, it. Can you can be no, 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 not even. They go see and marry. They gonna go to see with that Juarez, bro. That's what they gonna go. Stop it. <laughs> fucking Juarez. Applebee's. I'm gonna do a great job. We go to Mexico. We're gonna no. fucking get kidnapped you, by the cartel. No. Juarez, two for one. Uh, oh shit. No, but well, real talk. Okay, so you would pay for a man's vacation. You would do it? Yes. I already. Man. Have she she said, these are my friends. They're telling you right now. She's done it. I'm in and out right now. I'm but they don't. No, no, I'm single. Okay. <laughs> you already say y'all got it. You should go pay for it. You got it. All right. Come on. Here's now. the thing. I've, uh, let me let me I'll say something. You. Let me say something about. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed it, but when she said I'll pay for it, etc., I'll go with the more average guy. Do you guys notice the masculinity on her side went up a bit? A little bit more aggressive. Yeah, I'll pay for it. I don't care. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to lie. I'm not well, submissive at all. I'm not going to lie to you. I never said that was my character. Mm. Because I'm somebody that pays my own bills. I take care of my child. I'm a single mother. Uh -huh. I've done anything. First and foremost, I came from the lesbian community. I, I was serious. Mm. I dated women for 10 years. Yeah. So I just transitioned into Why'd dating. Why'd you leave then? Because they want me to take care of them. And I'm not she just taking man. care of no bitch by myself. Like, she you gotta a help. You're a female. Like... We supposed to be putting our pussies together to get money. <laughs> so, 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 you want to so question? You prefer you prefer to you prefer to take care of a man instead? No, I'm just saying that now I'm now more open to it because now I'm on the male side. I'm trying out with the Boy. males. So I was doing it for the women I was dating. Uh huh. So it kind of transitioned. You know what's interesting? Where... I've talked about this on the podcast a significant amount of times, and I've always said that women will not tolerate financial ineptitude from men, but they will from women. <laughs> and I've had a bunch of women that come on that like I'm lesbian or I'm bisexual, whatever. It's okay for them to split the bill with a chick, but they will not accept that from a guy. Take care of a guy. Nope. So I, I mean, you, I mean, Touché. hell, you were in a breadwinner position and you left. You're Touché. like, fuck this. Touche. No, I have not left. I'm still here. No, I mean, as in you left like <laughs> oh, the lesbian oh, community. Okay, lesbian. <laughs> yeah. I, okay, here's the thing. You're saying that you're not submissive or whatever. I, I'm gonna say that you can say that, but women don't like to be in their masculine all the time, bro. No, yeah. And I would argue a big sure. part of the reason why you went 
to try to deal with guys so that you can find a guy that's masculine so that you can finally go back to being a submissive feminine, feminine woman. Sure. You can say, I'm not submissive, but the reality is you want to be. Sure. It's just that you haven't found a guy to get it out of you. Mm-hmm. My only thing is, is that I'm going to give it, keep it real with you. Why should a guy rise up to a certain level, right? To get this femininity from you when he can go ahead and just get with another girl that's going to be feminine off the rip. Off rip. Because if this guy's approaching me, he ain't bringing shit to the table. I think he need to rise to my level. If he's not bringing anything for stability or financial, then what are you? Well, let's what say are you he losing? rises to your level. What are you losing? Well, but here's the point. Let's say he rises to your level. Why doesn't he just get a younger girl that doesn't have a kid? He can, but we both can fuck. <laughs> Right. Been, Yo, I, mean, I just said I'm by. I just said I'm open. You oh, said he, oh, yeah. oh, I'm yeah. open. I'm okay. open. Right She's down for the, for the play. Thank you. Okay, so she. <laughs> <laughs> what you taking? I want to pick either. No, you got to pick you gotta one. You got to pick one. You gotta pick one. Do or yeah. die. The lesser evil. What are you doing? Two for there. Sure, the lesser evil. I guess the little 150k, but that's, a little. that's not I enough for me. Little. I'm gonna need a lot more than that. Sheesh, big bag talking. Okay, uh, okay. You know what? Just out of curiosity, pull up the calculator, Chris. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna have fun with this. I want you to describe your dream man for us, okay? Um, how much he makes? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah. Cool. Doing all that uh, shit. Yeah. No, no, no. It's, it's, it, it, it's, we got a calculator for you. Wait, so, no, I'm just saying, like, I wouldn't. I would not be somebody's oh mistress for 150k. Okay. That's nothing. Okay, okay. Real quick, I, I just, I gotta do this. What's no, the bare minimum income that the guy's got to make for you? Huh? Okay, so over 100. So uh, max it out, Chris. Yep. Uh, what's the minimum a, uh, age range for you? I like like 38. You gotta talk into close into the mic though. Um, age age range. Like. 31 to 38. Okay. 31 to 38. Yeah. Okay. Ethnicity. The, uh, black, white, Asian, Hispanic. Oh, black. No. Only black? Fantastic. Oh, gang we up. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what what race? I mean, sorry. What height? <laughs> Bare minimum height? Bare minimum height for you? Like the tallest, like 6'7". Six, 6'7"? Seven. Six, seven. Yeah. yeah. No, that's 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 the highest. We got 6'6". Very rich. Fantastic. And how tall are you real quick? I'm five foot. But yeah, fantastic. Oh my God. What? Okay. Yes. Do you, you, said, care? you said men like short women. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, do you care if he owns or rents, or it doesn't uh, matter? Gotta own. He's gotta well, own. Honestly, ladies, 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 there's let, a let lot of rich on. men that rent. Okay. You know, and yeah, so I, I, it doesn't matter. Like, but, okay, yeah. so it, it doesn't matter. We'll keep it as is. Oh, wait, and just just so I have an idea here, what's the bare minimum income you want him? Uh, we maxed it out for you, but what's the bare minimum income he's got to make for you so we know what the number a is? A month or. Yeah, we go off a month. Sure. Damn, man. <laughs> Keep it real. A month. Know what you're worth. Go ahead. Go queen. Damn, I'm man. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Give us a number, or or yearly, or a week. Give yearly. Yearly, weekly, monthly. What? Give us a number. I don't know. You should do more, girl. I know you have a number. Come on, man. You just have a number. Do, she just what, scared to say it. Too. She just has a number. It, go ahead. It. Give us the number. No, I don't have a number because, you, like, I'm trying to compare me to the. I, I don't want to compare. No, no, no. This is no, your no, guy that you want. To, yeah. You know, no, you this is a man that you want. Give us the number. I gotta know. You know what's funny? He, he could be watching right now. You know what I'm watching? <laughs> no. He sent you a DM. He sent you a DM. No, that's why. No, I'm not saying just whatever. Just you have to be six mil. That's right. Six mil a month. A month. I don't know. A year. Maybe like six mil a month. No. No. A year. Yeah, like around there. So how much about your month? Genuinely asking. Okay. Six million a year is as uh six million a year is uh that's two mi- that's two million no that's no yeah that's five hundred k a month sorry yeah that's five hundred k a month all right uh okay schooling do you do you care what do you, what is schooling is uh, bachelor's masters no okay and then uh can he be fat no okay uh can he be married sorry, Mo. can he be married uh no I'm saying um. Come on, Queen. Well, if he's married, yeah, that would queen. make you a mistress. Come on, Queen. Yeah, yeah, well, if he's giving me a lot of money a month, I will deal with it. Oh, okay, so, yeah, okay. he can be married. He can be married? All right, fantastic. Let's, Let's find, find this out. guy. Let's as see. long as you're friends with his wife. Let's see what the percentages of finding him. <laughs> yeah, Just so you know, really this like comes from the care. U.S. Census Bureau ladies and from 3%. the National Health. You said 3%? Yes, there's somewhere low as shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, not even you scored a perfect five out of five cat bags out of five um 
Lock my ass off. Scores. Oh, hold on. I'm not going to talk about my personal life, but that thing is definitely wrong. Let me tell you. Okay. It's actually, well, That's... hold on. Let me tell you why it's 100% accurate. <laughs> it's pulling from the National Health Survey and it's also <laughs> pulling from the U.S. Census Bureau. So this is probably the most accurate representation of men in the United States today. But her environment, but those guys come different. to her. That's what yeah, So, like, I'm just, I'm, no, no, I'm speaking from facts. Like, yes. I've been in multiple situations of where. Your environment. Yeah, yeah, but like, that doesn't mean Irish woman but, doesn't get I, but, I put myself in situations where that's all that's around me. Okay, that that's fantastic, but you got to remember that these men are still a staggering minority of the population. The looks, the smell. Yeah, like and the the, the, we and you know what the scary part is we didn't even talk about them like being like not weird or not being awkward or whatever. Yeah. This is just or being attractive. This is just strictly off of the little things that you mentioned. And just to keep in mind as well, that's at $100,000 a year. This isn't at Five hundred thousand dollars per year, which the mind, the percentage will drop even more. But the biggest yeah. part is, why are they gonna choose you over another girl? They might smash you. Why are they gonna pick you? Who knows? And it's like, how are they gonna treat you? I'm just saying. Don't look at me like that. I'm yeah, just hey man, don't, like I said, that's the, the most accurate representation of uh, men in the United States on the internet because it covers the national he uh, health and it also covers the U.S. Census Bureau. All right, fair enough. I, I are you know what situations I'm in, so I'm good. Now, I, don't, I don't give a crap. But you said you're single, though. Yeah, I'm single. Single for the bag. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> she has sugar daddies. Okay. Uh, all right, cool. Um, Fresh, you got this. All right. Um, we got Devon Jackson says, this blonde just can't compute that a man can genuinely love his woman and know true happiness when he's with her and still just want to go see what the other kid he feel like. Mm. It's true. <laughs> Dane Mitra, 100 bucks, says, my dad is eight with five wives and many, many sides. He is still making babies. We will stop clapping cheeks when we die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> he sent hundred dollars. We got Thanos Warrior says, ladies, <laughs> women peak in their twenties. There's a reason women in their thirties and forties and fifties say things like, I look better than these 20 year olds. I've never seen a 35 year old say, I look better than these 45 years, uh, years old. It's always compared to the 20 year olds, uh, always. That's a good point. Uh, well, that's because you must not have that But that's because hell? everybody points them <laughs> Kim out. Kim always says she looked better than every bitch. <laughs> I was about to say, I didn't get the word. But that's because everybody points them out. I don't, I don't understand what the, uh, the point is. That was dumb. Anyways, next question? Yeah. Okay. Cool. okay. All right. Uh, one second, guys. Okay. One sec. All right. Okay. Um, Jonah Roberts says, second from Myra needs to take the best guy. But the quiz for Myra and Fresh. And uh, Louis Therese says, FN is doing God's work. Brothers, I make 275K uh, a year, 6'2", charming in New York. When I visit Miami and I go to live or Zuma, they say I ain't ish because they're delusionally waiting for Drake. Drake. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Devon Jackson says, and this Miss Andrews is the one that was asking men if they would settle. And she says, on OnlyFans, we have to get better women like her, like you, Jesus. Sorry, go ahead. You got oh, these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, just let her go get him, bro. Um, all right, from oh, Garage Man Teddy goes, from Myron, number one, Big Baby Davis, number two, HR Clown, uh, three, Fluffy, four, Kmart Channel, West Coast, uh, Kim Kardashian, ain't, who do you, which one is he calling Kim Kardashian, ain't? Uh, and Wesley Sniper, Dollar guys? Store, Brooke Hogan, and eight, Ursula from Little Mermaid, uh, nine, Rebecca Lobo, and then 10, Mr. Burns, slash Taylor Swift daughter, Taylor Burns. Oh, he who's was making fun of y'all. Who's Big Baby Davis? Okay, so he's calling names. you Big Baby Davis. But I'm saying, who is that? I didn't, I didn't get the uh, Garage Man Teddy. Big Baby Davis is a basketball player. <laughs> All right. But I'm sure. Who I eats the dead fish? Uh, I think he means who eats box here. None of us. Um, <laughs> lubricated cucumber. As a white guy, would uh, I do well in the Middle East or South America? Yes, you would do well in uh, South America as a white dude. And then Karen from HR goes, hello, boys. I'm from HR, and I'm here to mess your shit up. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs> Karen from HR. Karen from HR. <laughs> <laughs> use your picture. All right, cool. Um, all right, so we got the last part. Last right. part? And then one more. Uh, you have any, someone that says, Nadia's oh. definitely smashing Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler, and Victor Oladipo. Go Heat. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Nadia. Oh, oh shit! Oh, wait. Hold on, what? I don't even know. He said who they that you're are. fucking a bunch of NBA Those players. Are, yeah, NBA players. No. But he. No, they, she, better, they must make all the six million. She, 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 she is fucking NBA players. No, I would definitely tell you if I, you know, if I did. But no. You tell me you've never hooked up with an NBA player. 
Gotcha, it wasn't on that list, though. <laughs> okay. okay. No, it was. It's for real. It's not on that list, but. All right, so who? I'm not saying no <laughs> names. Oh that's, that's personal. <laughs> Have you ever hooked up with a professional athlete? Of course. Okay. Have you ever hooked up with a rapper? Of course. Okay. All right. Recently. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of course. Gotcha, bitch. No, um, that's I'm gonna pass. That. You know what? Uh, let's have fun with this. Let's go around the table. When's the last time you had sex? There we go. Uh, uh, oh shit! <laughs> like yesterday. Yesterday? Okay. okay. What, what about you? A couple months. It's been a couple months. Couple months. It's been fantastic. Months. Come on, man. So, okay. Uh, what about you? A couple months. Um, months. I've never had sex. Nice. You're a virgin? Yeah. Yo, okay. y'all should keep up to that. What about you? When was the last um, time you I'm had sex? I'm gonna say like two or three days ago. With the same boyfriend? Yes. Two or three days ago? Clearly, yeah. Uh, I don't believe that either. Okay. Uh, what about you? When was the last time you had sex? Since it's a new day. With yes. a dude. Yesterday morning. Come on now. I've been with in the a, game for three years. With a dude? Guys now. What about Four with a girl? Now. Yes, with the guy. Okay. This right. morning, yesterday morning. Okay, with the guy that you weren't so sure that you're. Mr. Joker. Yesterday okay, Mr. Morning. Joker. All right. Yes. Uh, what about you? When's the last time you smashed? Yesterday. Okay. All right. What about uh, what about you? Two days ago. Okay. Uh, what about uh, what about you? When's the last time you smashed? Um, a week ago. A week well, ago. A week ago. A week ago. <laughs> sure. Fantastic. Okay. And what then what about, you? about uh, HR? what about you, HR? Come on, three now. months. Let go. Come on, hey. man. All right, HR. Bruh. Okay, Bruh. HR. Sure. Bruh. You had I, sex I three swear to God. Ago. She won't get fired. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what about uh, you, bitches and bottles? When's the last time you smashed? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few weeks. A few. About a week and a half. A few <laughs> weeks. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Last time that you got head. I'll just. Get fresh. Get fresh. I'm just saying. Fresh. Definitely. Yeah, last time you had head. That's been a week. Bro, stop. Yeah. All right, man. You, man. You yeah, this, this is ridiculous. Okay. okay. I, I always like doing that exercise because it lets me uh, see. Are you guys going to answer? Right. When the mm. last time you. Yeah, Mari. Well, yeah, yeah. To, to be fair, yes. as a man of God, I would never disclose that. <laughs> so oh, my God. God. <laughs> I should have said that. Black <laughs> man don't cheat, right? Yeah, no, man black never man don't cheat. cheat. Black <laughs> never cheat. Oh, no. We, we definitely. <laughs> it's over my bed. Okay. So, oh, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> uh, okay. So, ladies. Last thoughts on the show. How's the show for you? Hate it, love it. Any comments? We'll start right here. I enjoyed myself. Did you? A, I did. And okay. I've been on a few podcasts, but this one was definitely different. the most different and challenging. That kept me on my toes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Yeah, your toes are still uh, intact. There you go. <laughs> Probably one on one of them podcasts where they don't challenge your beliefs. They just let you say anything, even if it doesn't make sense. Fair? Well, yeah? No? I mean, if you ask me what I say, I always makes sense, but not to everybody, but you guys definitely challenged me. So okay. Watch the show back make... and you'll see what we mean. I, and I will. Yeah, okay. Watch okay. the show back and then look at the chat and you'll see what I mean, man. Oh, okay. I don't care about the chat. Okay. What about you, Miss HR? Uh, I very much enjoyed your... You did? I did. I think it was a, I think it was Fuck. rigid commentary, but it was nice. It was nice to it was nice to debate it and to discuss it and have insight on your mindset. So enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. We gave you a fairly accurate assessment of how men think in general. Would you say that's rigid then? It's, it is rigid. It is. Would it be fair to say that men are simple and we just operate in black and white most of the time? Yes, they okay. do. So if I'm telling you how men operate, then I mean, okay, you just well, don't like the fact so, that it's rigid. It's just rigid. Yeah, it's very one to one side, okay. but I can acknowledge it. Fair enough. Uh, okay. What about you? I enjoyed it. It was very informative. Okay. Yeah. Are you, uh, would you what was the most informative thing that you learned? Just that we overanalyze things and how simple it really is. Fair enough. What about you? I was going to say the same thing. It was, I enjoyed it and it was very informational for sure. Okay. What was your f most informational thing that you figured out? Um, <laughs> probably just, you know, <laughs> what men really want. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about you? It was lit. I already knew everything. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I, I think how y'all think because I already know. I already know what it is. Okay. Did you think the guy that we uh, that you want was as rare as as uh, he came out to be? What do you mean? Like the when we put your numbers in the calculator, did you think that the guy that you want, your dream guy, is as rare as he turned out to be? Did you think he was more common, probably before the show? Yeah. Okay. All right. 
So if you find a guy, be more appreciative, I guess. I know you find no, them I'm all the saying, time, but, yeah, but, yeah, but if you find one and he treats you well, mm-hmm. I want to think twice. I know. Yeah. It's not always, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Uh, what about you? Um, I like it. Um, I'm glad that y'all gave us the honest opinions. Are you going to so, be more submissive now or no? I can go drill his ass tonight, though. Thank you, guys. Okay. I'm going to go Okay. And I might be submissive. Okay. All right. Fair enough. But what about you? Um, I think it was very informational. I'm definitely second guessing a lot of things, but no. What's the biggest thing you're second guessing? I don't know. I just feel like men are trash. Like, honestly, I've always felt <laughs> oh, that. Like, fantastic. Even before this, like, I don't know. I don't think they're as complex as you guys make it seem, but maybe girls are just very strong overthinkers. I mean, maybe a little bit of both. Who knows? All right. So your conclusion is men are trash. Yeah. So if yeah, men are exactly. trash, then don't date them. Thank you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Look, okay. uh, virgin girl. Oh, Emily fans. Hey, are you really? Yes. Okay. Wait, why you would I say that, light, bro? You can sell yeah, that for right. quite a high price. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so Not so me bad. though. Somebody else. Yeah, I've seen girls put it on contract. No, you can though. Niggas, I've niggas, niggas pay. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, I've seen. Yeah, yeah. virgin. Strange. Yeah. Go on black market. That niggas paying. That's horrible. It's the truth. Let's party. I know that. I'm a virgin. Hey, what they pay? A big bag. No, but I, I get what you're saying that because like you say men lie, so why would women not lie? Whatever. Um, I think I actually had a good time on this uh, panel. All right. Um, you ask I, good questions. Yeah, I think. Thank you. I think uh, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to navigate because there's like a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, I did watch the podcast before. I know there's been a larger panel, so I, I have no idea how I would even. Uh, or how that that was able to function. Oh yeah. Well, because because <laughs> what I've realized is that like when we do smaller panels, a lot of girls like don't want to talk or they're scared. Right. Or they're just not. How do I say? I don't want to sound like an asshole, but they just don't have the intelligence to be able to actually be on a podcast and have like concrete conversation. Yeah, but so, um. Yeah. Anyway. My answer is just that this. I had a good time. All right. It was a good oh, podcast. Cool. What about you? I saw you listening a lot. I am such a listener. Loki, I'm going to go home a little sad. <laughs> what, 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 what was the biggest dream shatterer for you? Everything. I feel like men and women are never going to have what they want. So I'm a little sad. Love isn't real. Are you Mexican? I'm Mexican, yeah. Man, come on. In your culture, y'all know what time it is, man. I know, but in now Mexican you just... Culture. You, I know. I just women got to be women and men are men. You should know this. Yeah, but in Mexican culture, they don't really cheat. Well, I mean, oh no, they definitely I'm do. Just, yeah. no, Come on, I'm just delirious. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> in, in Mexican culture, they don't cheat. Come on, man. Construction um, site. They say. I hate relationships. Well, so. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> yeah, I'm over it. I'll be back home. Yeah, I man. Like the, the reason, the term Sancho. Come on, man. Literally. Okay. Yeah. I'm Come go on. Cry. Mexican men don't cheat. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Get on that way. All right. What about you? I had fun. I'm ready to go eat some snacks and hook up with my boyfriend. And I'm tired. Cool. I had a lot of fun. I you got to talk to Mike. Ms. Sorry. Awkward. So I Awkward. had a lot of fun. Uh huh. Ready to go hang out with my boyfriend and have. You gonna appreciate him now? Um, I always do anyway, and eat some snacks. It's only been a few and... weeks anyway, so. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna show him all your confidence tonight? I always do. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh cool, guys. Fourteen K. Y'all in here? Like the goddamn video? I'll read these real quick. The calculator should be a ratio because chicks don't understand what point zero 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 two percent means. Uh, 0.0002% is one in 500,000. There's only 180,000 men in Miami, 326 in the U.S. in total, probably all NBA players. Would that be fair to Yo, say? Yo, who's uh, after me, bro? Why y'all trying to... <laughs> oh my God. He's not after you. He's just, he's just saying... Why like, you keep on saying NBA players? Like, you don't know me. Like, don't be... Like, well, he's, he's saying that the guys that you want, like, the people that meet, meet that metric are 300 guys in Miami, which is fucking crazy that you did the math on that. Um, cool. <laughs> Uh, all right, guys. Appreciate y'all. We're gonna be back on Friday, Friday. Um, with a um, with a call-in show. Or we got a special guest on Friday. Oh no, we got 1090 Jake. End of sentence. 1090, Jake. 1090 Jake's gonna be here, guys, on Friday, man. So like the fucking video. I'll catch you guys on Friday, and then um, yeah. Other than that, man, we'll have an after-hour show for you guys on Friday as well. We're gonna be in London starting on, on Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. We're gonna go out there. We're gonna be uh, out out in Europe for a week. To the Love y'all. Peace. Peace. All the night is my world.